Good afternoon. Welcome back if this is your second stream of the day with me. If it's not, welcome. We we played some uh Oh hi. Well, <laughs> thanks for sticking around. I appreciate you. Um we are going to be playing some RimWorld to now. Well, today technically, yes. But um yeah. <laughs> We're going to be continuing our streaming day for today by with some RimWorld. What I like to call the tragedy simulator because <laughs> games sometimes just gives you the big middle finger and like catches half your base on fire. Um, but yeah, we're going to be playing that for now. And uh, before... <laughs> brains just wandering everywhere. Before we begin that though, I am fundraising for the LGBTQ Freedom Fund which pays bail to secure the safety and liberty of individuals in jail in immigration detention. <clears throat> if that sounds like something you'd like to contribute towards, I have a donation button below my stream that goes to the Tiltify page. I have an exclamation point donate command that takes you there as well. My chatbot shares that link every 30 minutes or so to for ease of access. And on my, stri my, on my stream screen when things come up though on the bottom left there is a QR code you can scan that will also let you donate if you're able to any supports got appreciated I don't see any of the money which is for the best because my stupid ass would forget to donate it because I forget a lot of things unfortunately so this is just a way for me to try to help fundraise without having to worry about where the money is going by the way, any support for that is greatly appreciated, and just being here is greatly appreciated, so thank you. All right. Y y y yeah, RimWorld likes to give you a bad hand. Sometimes it gives you, well, it depends on like your, the storyteller you pick, because there's, there's multiple options you can choose. One of them is the correct option, in my opinion, which is the one that can kind of just decide to screw you over horribly sometimes, while in other times it uh, just does nice things for you. Uh, is there an... Okay, I don't know if that matters. Um, let's see, F update, final update. I didn't know there was an update for RimWorld. Uh, it's, it was like 753 kilobytes. Uh, give it a sec. It's, it's, the bar is full and it's patching. I guess we're just gonna have to sit here for a sec. Oh, okay, it's done. <laughs> Hopefully that, up, whatever the update was, didn't like break all the mods. Because, you know. But yeah, um, there we go. Thank, thanks RimWorld for cooperating. Maybe thinking about it but yeah RimWorld can do like we start like last Saturday stream I did which was not last week the week before that we started a new thing and um, we had at least one time where lightning struck near our base that was made of wood and caught everything on fire and it burnt all of our food <laughs> so we're we're barely kind of limping through limping our way through winter right now I think with like just trying to survive off of hunting stuff <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> and we're also dealing with some uh, uh, some lovers quarrel stuff right now too. Cryptid baby, it, its name can OMG be um. Nine months. S -S 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 -S. We have cryptid baby now. What's its name? Um, let's see. Uh, we can name it like Sponge, <laughs> or I don't know. Um, <laughs> Sp <laughs> Our the child will be named Sponge. It's like those things on Twitter where it's like stereotypical non-binary names. Oh, my name's like, like, like mold or like grunge. No, Sponge is an ama amazing, amazing. Thank you, thank you, by the way, not only for the, for subbing for nine months. That's amazing. Appreciate you so much for that. <clears throat> I really do. But thanks for stopping in. I know you're streaming later today. So if you're still if you're still going while I when I finish this stream, expect a raid. <laughs> uh, my well, my real life name is not my favorite, but like my screen name, Mobis, is like I think it's like the the name of the Antichrist. So it's kind of like that, kind of. 
It's 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 fucky. Come on, Rimworld, please. I figured you would have started by now. It's just sitting here, initializing. We'll do it faster. I'm bored. <laughs> ah, nice. Yeah, mine's a vi mine is an extremely common male Christian name, unfortunately, and I. I've never liked it, and in more recent years, I've grown to dislike it because it's so damn common. This title screen fucking rocks, though. Like, this, look at this fucker. This person's gender as hell. Like a robot pers demon person with fucking horns. Not James, but it does start with a J. <laughs> John Dark Souls. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I mean, I think you actually know what it is, Hale, since you sent me that uh, Tales of Symphonia box thing. Anyway, let's load our game. I think our current game is, uh, yeah, it's the purple, the, our, tr our, our settlement is named the Purple Octopus Krauka, whatever the fuck that means. I don't know, I didn't really... Oh, no. Let's pause real quick. Um, it's 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 it has a four-letter version and a six-letter version, so it might be what you're thinking of. Because white people parents are not <laughs> white people parents aren't very thoughtful when it comes to oh well okay. Alrighty, so yeah, this is our current our base currently. We've, uh, we've upgraded the walls to mostly stone. There's still some that are not. We've got Lemur here, and Huntsman, and Lady is like some person that fell out of the sky. Let's take a look. You, ding, 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 you are correct. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't that hard of a guess, probably. I don't, yeah, yeah. That's fair. Jewish traditions are good. Uh, well, I killed, what was I doing? Well, thankfully they didn't, because I don't like the name. I think we were built. What were you? What was going on? I know it's like winter time, or almost winter time. It's December, which is not a real fucking month, but it's winter. And it'll be winter for the next, uh, like, 13 game days. <clears throat> I think some people just caught the flu, actually. Let me double check that. Was What do you... Okay, you're... Oh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Huntsman here's got the flu. Uh, Olabar has also got the flu. He, he took off his deer skull helmet. Or mask or whatever. And then Lady immediately put it on. She's not a tribal person, but she's like, you know what? Fuck it. I might as well blend in with the rest of y'all. She's actually, let me look at your, your bio. She is a Glitter World Surgeon, which is actually really nice to have because that means she's really good at medical and weirdly enough mining too. She's got good melee, which is part of the reason why I kept her. <clears throat> I give you mine as a consolation prize. It's like the case of like, if there's a fae like, ha ha ha, I'm gonna trick you into taking your name, like, take it. And they'll be like, what? <laughs> what do you mean, take it? I'm like, take it. I don't want it. <clears throat> it's like something I posted on Twitter, it's like, I trust a fae <laughs> more than I do big corporations with like, just like, you I'll, I'll give you my name, fae. We have this... To, oh, I think I had an animal here, but I sold them. There's this big-ass, like, centipede that was fighting something last stream. I think it was, like, this big crocodile. One of the mods I have installed is called, like, Megafauna, so it adds, like, these big-ass animals that are based off of, like, extinct creatures from Earth's past. Well, I was trying to see, like, the actual entry for the... Arthroplora, but this one's dead, so I don't think it'll let me do that. 
So yeah, you have the flu. How's your flu doing? Flu 12, immunity 13.6. Yeah, you want to keep the immunity higher than the disease progress. Otherwise, your characters will just die. <clears throat> Who else was had it? Uh, Huntsman, of course. My, the, my cook, of course. Why wouldn't the person that cooks food be uh, one of the people that catches the flu out of nowhere? Don't you just love? Don't you love it when a plan comes together like that? Um, let me look at something. What's our? Uh... Okay, that's about as high as it's gonna go. It's it's just wonderful. You're like, you're one person that cooks all this food is just. I don't think you can really tend hypothermia. The only thing you really do with hypothermia is try to uh, keep people warm. See, the reason I have like this this room is got an open ceiling. The reason I have that is because it's like negative six outside, and I want it to also be cold in here so stuff freezes. This game is complex. <laughs> uh, this was gonna be um, Lemur's room. I think Lemur and Huntsman want to sleep together, like in the same room, usually. Let me see, was it? Yeah, we're not doing super great at the moment. Partially for, especially, I think, Lemur. Because she, she proposed marriage to Huntsman and got shot down and doesn't feel very good so we're trying to keep her from losing her goddamn mind right now yeah like let's see well lemur's bisexual so i think she and lady lady's gay i think she and lady went on a date at some point so maybe that'll turn to something who knows i don't know you can't like really force any of that to happen if they're gonna do it they're gonna do it you just kind of have to roll with the punches usually um it's winter and we got two people with the flu so kind of <laughs> okay I could pro how's your flu doing huntsman pretty it it well comparatively as well about as well as we really can the first stream, we had our storeroom here with wood walls, and, and Randy Random decided to do a flash storm and land a lightning bolt, like, right here. And it set our entire storeroom on fire, burnt most of the food, so we're mostly just kind of limping along with, like, pemmican, the rest of our rice, and we're just gonna have to do some simple meals eventually. But I think for now we have enough food, so Huntsman needs to, uh, go to bed. After he eats some food. Because flu is not super dangerous, but it can definitely, it, it puts your people out of commission. Oh, I guess we have a tur tortoise. <laughs> I was like, why is this turtle coming to our house? The answer is because he thinks he belongs here. Randy's the only way to play. Randy is the best way to play because you're just like, any everything and anything can just happen. <laughs> Olabar joked about fine meals with huntsmen. At least they can hang out while they're resting, because they need to be in the very least in a um, in a well. He, being in a good bed helps their their ten qual their immunity raise and such. And thankfully, we had this glitter rolled surgeon just drop out of the sky and join us. So. We got plenty of herbal medicine from throughout the year, just stuff growing, so. Let's speed up some, speed it up a little bit. And her 10 quality is really good, so these two are probably going to be just fine. Oh, yeah, that happened last stream. These thrombos showed up on the map. I am not going to tempt fate, especially since Huntsman is, well, our best shooter, I think. Uh, let's actually see. I mean, Lemur's fine, but she's also a researcher, and we need—we desperately need research. God damn it, Randy! Uh, one of one of the people I watched on YouTube that plays RimWorld a lot says that very often because he also he also plays on Randy, and they'll just like shit. We have to like, oh, God damn it, Randy! <laughs> so let's 
So Lemur is a researcher. Um, Lady is actually doing doctoring stuff because that's like what she's really good at. So she's actually she's invaluable right now to our survival because these two are well two of our main workers. Like Huntsman does. Um, he's the cook. He's the cook and. He, he's the primary hunter as well. He's also bisexual. Wow, I, I didn't realize everyone in our everyone in our colony is either bi or just gay. Oh, Randy. <laughs> I didn't realize that we just had a bunch of fucking fruits. That's perfect. I didn't realize that Huntsman was bi and Olivar is gay. Which means Huntsman can hook up with Lemur and Olivar, queer the queer the queer collective. Yeah, Huntsman can hook up with Olivar or Lemur, and Lemur can hook up with um, with Lady or either of these two. We should bring Disc here. If I if we get another colonist that that is sufficiently fruity, I, I can name them Dist. <laughs> How's your stuff doing? I probably don't have to worry about their flu because we have a dedicated person for tending. I think that's what a uh, lady's up to is. Um, what's she doing? What tasks do you have doing for a lady? Uh, doctoring number one. It's a very good game. Along with all the expansions, it's not super cheap, but I would say it's worth it at least getting the base game because there's a very large modded community, at the very least. So you can at least do stuff like that. Uh, let's see, um, artistic and uh, mining. Well, <laughs> get it, coward. You won't. <laughs> um, well, I guess lady can be like kind of a a backup miner. I just need to find stuff for her to actually do. Like, let's see if there's some steel around here somewhere I could have her mine. It's kind of foggy. Oh, yeah, that's because we did a... Oh, we got this last... Near the end of last stream, too. A garlic... This, uh... Granny... Garanlin pond. That's a fucking word. <laughs> Join the suffering. What we can do is we can use this to plant a tree... Yeah, totally understandable. Money does not grow on trees. Except when it does, but not in real life. <laughs> um, is Lady gonna go do that? I think Lady's gonna go just... Yeah, she's gonna go harvest that. Good for you, Lady. Good job. Yeah, it's currently foggy outside because we took an event for forced weather for a reward of some kind. I can't remember what it was. I think it was like a chair or something <laughs> what is this uh well i can't remember what it was that was it was this masterwork bone chair <laughs> unless you're seto kaiba and then you're just like screw the rules i have money <laughs> hey where are you going you went like the longest possible fucking way to this i think Uh, how about you haul that back with you and not just leave it there, weirdo? Okay. You've detected a component mining work site nearby controlled by filth packers. <laughs> That's not a suggestive name in the slightest. Um Okay, how are how are they doing? How is how is your your stuff going? On? It's progressing. It's not filth packers. <laughs> uh, well, I think that's mostly. Let's see. Uh, do we have a faction called Filth Packers? I don't know if there's a faction called Filth Packers. <laughs> I would expect it would have been some of these uh, waster pirates, like this, like Tox Company. But maybe not. I don't know. Like, I mean, we could look at the map and see. Oh, okay, I see. Uh, where's the 
The wild. Generate the planet. I made like a full size planet. Uh, what is, is it this? What's a logging work site from not do Concord? <laughs> they not do much apparently. Um, which looks like it's part of this faction of Eastern Veristan. Okay. And then I think that was the that's a steel site and that's a component site from the filth packers. <laughs> it's red, so it probably is with uh it's probably uh Ferravo Firehomes uh faction technically. I would imagine it is because it's the same color, but I could be just fucking wrong. Wouldn't be surprised. This is a small part of Col Zitro Roar Clan, which are like the Big furry people that they add in this up uh, this update, and this is us, Catasbia, Perky. Why are you yodeling to yourself, bud? He's just going meow. Anyway, okay. What are we researching? Uh, complex clothing. A little late for that, because, yeah, it's winter. Probably needed that a little sooner, but we're mostly just staying inside anyway. Well, we have some silver. I was going to say, if, we've, if a trader comes by with better medicine, I'll probably try to get some of that to make sure these two survive the flu. Leora has reached level 6 in intellectual. She does not have any passion in the skill at all, so her, this has been a slog, but she's probably up to finally to a point where it's like respectable research speed. I had the turtles just asleep in our food room. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, you're actually feeding a fine meal to uh, Huntsman. That's nice of you. And you're playing Hoopstone too. Um, Lemur's not doing great still. Hi, Bubba. Hello, stinky boy. Hi, hi, kitty. <laughs> he's 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 the most vocal cat I have ever lived with he's, he, he's very noisy <laughs> that's okay though uh you're stressed is there something we can do for that not not much why why did you get disturbed sleep uh oh not sure but the fine meals are probably one of the only things that are keeping her close to sane. Because that, that is gonna... That sucks <laughs> that we have that still. Unsightly environment. When is that? I think the room is just kind of... It's ugly, dirty, and cramped. Yeah, it's not a very good room to research in. And actually cleaning it made my things worse. What? <laughs> How does that make sense? Whatever. What are you what are you doing, Olabar? Oh, you're playing Hoopstone. <clears throat> He's now hungry. Oh, I need to have you not tend the huntsman. I think he's still set to tending, because before before she came out of the sky, I had him kind of said to be like the medic. But for but for now, we'll have him not have him not do that because he needs to also recover from his own flu. When can we tend his? Can be tended in seven seconds. Uh, ten quality seven. That's pretty good for uh for um, herbal medicine, honestly. Uh, 
Uh, slightly worse 10 quality, but it's fine. Oh, what? What did you just compare Huntsman to an imp? That's rude. <laughs> Why would you do that? Jokes about pets with... Well, I don't know. <laughs> well, now, now he doesn't really... <laughs> you imp! <laughs> <clears throat> now, admittedly, uh, Lady here is not of our same uh, ideology, so some of her uh, things, <laughs> child labor <laughs> encouraged. What are they, Republican? Where are you, a Republican? <laughs> Maybe. Um, our universe is a dream in the mind of a timeless universal consciousness. Only architects can communicate directly with the universal conscious. <laughs> rim public, rim public, and bait. All is permitted, except what I don't like, which is probably being gay. Um. Yeah. So, what about you? What are your social things? Um. Friends with no. Oh, oh, excuse me. Jesus Christ, my. My voice decided it wanted to. Yeah, maybe. That or just pirates. There's not like a real clear analog of that stuff out here on the rim. <clears throat> maybe, maybe the other the other side would be the. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, Jesus. Would be the uh, shattered, the broken, or well, the shattered empire, because those are like, sp like space, like fiefdom shit kind of like imagine the roman empire but in space it's kind of what that is like down to like kind of the same like kind of names uh we can plant this tree somewhere near their base not somewhere where we want to like build uh, buildings because he won't let you put it down there. Roman, <laughs> yeah, space Romans, basically. Uh, I might want to expand more out this way, so maybe we should put this little tree down like here. Ooh, there's some steel we can get at some point. It's more steel too. Oh, we're not going to be hurting for steel when the time comes when we actually need it. Ooh, that's a good find, too. Components are nice. Uh, well, let's put it, like, down here, I guess. They're playing the game of Ur. Okay, you're planting the, the garlean seed, that's fine. How is your flu doing? That is our most pressing concern, to make sure that they remain above, their immunity remains above their uh, flu. Okay, it looks like Olabar either like got a, a late start getting tended or something, because his immunity is not as high, so we're gonna have to watch that. Lemur is resting. Lemur is a night owl, so she sleeps during the day. For her own, like, mood and sanity. Abbot of Bora Bryn roll unfulfilled. Um, how do I even do that? I think I need, like, some sort of, like, uh, is it here? A large shrine for honoring spiritual beings. Tribal side casters can focus on the shrine. Uh, not that. I think that's like a... It was like a ritual spot or something. I gotta figure out where that is, though. Because <laughs> there's a lot, of, a lot of spots and a lot of things. And adding mods doesn't help with that. <laughs> uh, can I do that? Oh, the Borobrin's advent thing for the... Oh, that's maybe something else. Uh, this is... A lot of this stuff is complex as shit, and I've not really dealt with too much of the ideology stuff. Let's see... Social... 
No reachable altar, ideogram, or ritual spot. Okay. Oh, ideology. Ritual sp No shit, right? Maybe look in the, the tab that says ideology. Christ. <laughs> um, well, maybe we can just put that, like, here for now. I don't, I don't, I don't really know. Uh, let's see. Free fair, Barbarans, Advent, Convergent Ritual, Public Execution. <laughs> uh Oh, RimWorld. Never change. Uh, let's see. Roll change. Who would become this? What is it? What even is this roll? Um. The number of spec the required number of spectators must attend for the roll change to, to apply. Some of the selected participants are sleeping. They wake up once you start the ritual. Those two are sleeping. We might just have to do this real quick. Um, I, who should I give this to? Maybe Lemur. I don't. She's not of the right of our. Uh, she's yeah. She's not of our the ideology, so she can't do it. Uh, let's look at everyone's bio because I'm pretty sure whatever role that is probably needs good socials. So let's see who which of us has that. No one except for her, <laughs> and she, but she's not our thing. Let's actually look at our ideology here, so we can see what all these fucking rules are. Uh, moral guide is the abbot of Borabrin, a moral slash spiritual leader who heads rituals and, pers and personally counsels believers. Okay, so. It would have to be some, so we, we might have to try to convert Lady here to our thing. But for that, we need uh, we need someone with the Abbot of Borobrin in the first place. <laughs> so we might just have to um, temporarily give someone that until we can convert her over. Convert or die. <laughs> Just 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 lock them in a in a very in a in a like a one in a one by one cell and beat the shit out of them until until they convert to your religion. <laughs> oh god, this game can be so fucked up if you really want it to be. I usually try not to be like a space war criminal, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. That's how you make friends, right? Just beat the shit out of them. <laughs> Okay, which of you has the best social, at least for now? It's a tie between you and you, and you're not sick right now, Lemur, so I think you're going to be the temporary knock they ass out and shove food in them. And, and honestly, in anime, it seems to work pretty similarly, too. <laughs> uh, well, it looks like our, t at least our temporary um, person is going to be Lemur. Which is good because this is all, this this is something that's lowering Lemur's mood currently by not having a uh, the leader person. So maybe doing that will actually improve her mood long enough for her to uh, successful role change. Was, quality was one hundred percent determined by the factors. Spectate. We had enough spectators. Lemur explain life's per. Oh, now you're all fucking smart, aren't you? Needs. Well, that swung her back into a good mood. Because now, instead of... Well... She's like, ah, oh, fine, I'll fucking do it myself. Oh, I don't know if, like, her, um... Changing that role made her thought of her husband rejecting her marriage proposal go away, or what happened. But... She's suddenly in a much better mood, which cool. Um, in that case, how about we try doing a conversion ritual? Um, well, that's probably not very good. Perhaps we should make a better room for doing this first. If you have a fancy church, people are more willing to, like, I don't know, do church shit with you, I guess. Uh, 
Perhaps I can expand this room out. This is gonna be like a dining room anyway. Eventually I'm gonna move this probably up here or something. Like this isn't this isn't the final layout for the for the base. Not by a long shot, but let's uh, move these walls back. Actually, before that, uh, let's see what's well, the cancel button. It's C. We're gonna. We'll expand this room out a little bit more too while we're at it and add that, add those. Lemur is also our constructor. She's like almost 12 constructing. So when she wakes up, she'll work on this and we'll make a nicer huntsman. What are you doing, you shit ass? No, go to bed. Uh, let's see, uh, patient. Go to a medical bed for treatment. Yeah. If you don't... He really is a... He really is an imp. <laughs> Olabar and Huntsman exchange ideas about the connection between childhood and... Sedu no! Shut up, Olabar. I don't know what you're talking about, but it's... Not very good, whatever it is. <laughs> There's some freaking Freud bullshit there. Like, oh, you really, you really gonna fall in love with someone that's your mom? Fuck you. What are you talking about? Ladies feeding huntsman, so he can be an imp in his own in the bed instead of. It's not a very good hospital, but it's probably the the nicest room in our base. <laughs> Let, let's see. Let's look at our. Let's look at the social thing. Olabar and Huntsman exchange ideas about the connection between childhood and seduction. But yeah, the whole the whole F Sigmund Freud shit is like he was like this quack ass like early psychologist with like some really weird ideas about like honestly everything. <laughs> I I would I would suggest looking it up with big just with and just be mindful that it's <laughs> a little fucked up but uh yeah it's worth knowing because it kind of shows like just i don't know how fucking stupid people are um oh royal tribute co collector um we don't have any gold or slaves to give them so they'll just kind of hang out they might give us a gift for their for our hospitality of not killing them yeah, yeah. Funny thing about the Lord of Flies, though, I've learned recently, is that's actually dramatization, because, like, the thing happened, but those kids, like, didn't actually do that. I mean, British people are terrible anyway, but those particular ones weren't bad. It's just over... I think it was just, like, overly dramatized. Because, yeah. Still an interesting book, but... How are how is your your flu doing? It is a, it is seven percent ahead of the actual progress, so that's fine. That's good. Yours is much further ahead, which is also good. Lemur's still sleeping. She's doing much better now that. Uh, oh wait, no, this is back. What happened? <laughs> Did she temporarily forget about? Um, Reach health. Oh, that's something she can do. Actually, she can uh, use a um, a thing to help people uh, and gain immunity faster. Can she counsel herself? No. <laughs> I was gonna like, oh, I can have her counsel herself to forget about her rejected proposal. Um, convert. Reassure, uh, counsel, preach health. Um, once Lemur, wake, once Lemur uh, wakes up, we'll actually make her preach health to Olagar, Olabar to hopefully help his recovery gain speed up a little. What are you doing? You about to go to? Oh, you're about to go to sleep too. All right, 
Wakey, wakey. Yeah, she's immediately not doing great because she, she's like, oh, I forgot. Oh, I almost forgot. My fiance rejected my marriage proposal. <laughs> All right, preach health on Olimar, plank cutter. I like how the turtle's sleeping in the hospital. <laughs> That's cute. Did that actually do anything? Huh? This, this, this person's will to survive was reinforced by a talk with the moral guide of their ideology. Ideologian. <laughs> That's a fucking word. Um, that moral certainty has improved their healing and meaning. This is like freaking the whole like thoughts and prayers bullshit, but actually tangible. <laughs> And that takes uh, three days to recharge. Now, can I still try to do a conversion uh, ritual, or is that no? That's on. That's no. Okay, we'll have to wait to try doing some conversion shit. Um, we could try to trade. Uh, Joe Nina, that's a name. Yeah, like a lot of these names are like kind of Romany, like maybe not Roe, but Pat but Patronus, like Custios, Bringus, Onik, Joe Nina. Especially this one, like Bosordos. <laughs> like these are like very kind of like Latin or like that kind of name. So yeah, these are like space Romans. Yeah, we don't have anything to give them. I mean, we can give them, like, a gift, but I don't know if that's really... It's not really worth our time to do that. So, we're, yeah, we'll, they'll just kind of hang out and... Yeah. They're leaving them out because of dangerous temperature. Oh, you don't say. It's only, like, negative 24 outside. What are you talking about? All right, she's going to very carefully try to build this shit before she just like freezes to death because yeah hypothermia we don't have warm clothing for that so hopefully she doesn't like fuck up any of the walls that i'm having her build how about you just move these walls now, uh, ordinarily, you can't move walls like this. Like, you have to, like, de deconstruct them and then, like, rebuild them. But I have a mod that lets me just do that because, I mean, I already spent the resources. Why shouldn't I be able to just move shit around? Now, some people would uh, disagree, but that's why this is not their fucking playthrough. <laughs> um, let's see. Build roof. We would like to have this roofed in... Uh, maybe not this area. Yeah, roof in this area and will keep help keep it nice and warm. Um, now this was I was originally making this room so that Olabar would have an actual room, but then they both got sick with the flu, so it became the hospital. <laughs> I think it's kind of cute. So I'm gonna have the turtle just sleep there from now on. <laughs> or whatever pet I have, or whatever animal I have tamed that's not like one that lives outside. Uh, let's see. Is there an animal sleeping spot? Yeah. There you go. And tortoise one. Well, these can also move over too. He provides moral support for the patients, exactly. I'm gonna manually do this because, like, it's like. Who's doing something? Oh. 
Lady's doing something. Good job, lady. <laughs> Got lady, lemur, huntsman, and olibar. Surely some g good names. Wait, what's the turtle doing? Oh, it's just sleeping. Okay. I was like, it seems like it's been sleeping for a while, and that's probably because it's sleepy. Uh, let's actually deconstruct this wall. This. We'll keep the door around. We'll keep it like there in place for now. But we're gonna work on making a uh, nice place to do this stuff like this. Like maybe we can have like a the wall a wall going here. Which we could just move these walls over, but I'm gonna make, could, I'm trying to get rid of the wood walls where possible because wood walls are flammable, as you may uh, may suspect. So we can move this door. Uh, we'll have it like right here, and we'll get some wall. Uh, let's deconstruct that. And then let's grab some of these, build those, and those are still wood, so we'll do that. We'll plan all this stuff, and if it happens, it happens. If not, then whatever. Just get, just to give Lemur something to do. We should just, how much of these? Oh, we got plenty of granite blocks. Okay, cool. Oh, lady's like, oh, I need to mine that. So she did. Huntsman has gotten food. Oh, boy. Food poisoning. Well, I mean, he's the only one that cooks, so that's his fault. Should have should have kept should have kept the stone and dirt kitchen clean. <laughs> I've been I've been doing my best to keep it. What do you do? Why are you why are you doing that there? Stop. Hypothermia. What do you? Oh. Well, let's uh, fix that. We're gonna go stand next to this fire for a while. Oh, now he now he's in a bad mood because he's got food poisoning and he's hypothermic as shit because it's really cold outside well let's fix that let's give them a let's give them let's put a freaking uh, campfire in in the, the hospital uh, is that this this smaller room will be better for uh, lemur to um heat back up into so it's so we're gonna just sit here and not deal with the hypothermia yeah this is why you want warm clothes <laughs> rimp imps man <laughs> yeah he's just like ha not having a great time uh yeah we need to have her hypothermia decrease okay it's decreasing now that it's warming up more in the ho in the hospital in here. Lady and Huntsman chatted about beards. Good talk. Lady told a joke about guilty pleasures. Should have accepted that marriage proposal. <laughs> this is karma. You got the flu, and uh, you've got food poisoning. Shouldn't have turned her down. Quipped about pemmican. Lady and Huntsman discussed the topic of life stresses. Olabar, <laughs> the, the speech bubbles are going on top of each other at this point. Shared a word. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> we have to look at gears, not gear a social, to see what these people are talking about because the speech bubbles are overlaying on top of each other. 
Olabar and ladies chatted a word about eating habits, chatted about salty foods, spoke about training gazelles. Wonderful. Such a good use of my time. Let's wait till she's done shivering and then we'll have her continue doing building because... Oh yeah, this is considered outdoors because this wall was broken. No wonder it got so damn cold in here. I was wondering why hy hypothermia was such a problem suddenly and the answer is um, lady was too quick to the draw and I didn't really notice. Wait till your stuff is gone. Speed time back up. Okay. Why'd you just leave that fine meal there? All right now, this is considered indoors, so the, the temperature should heat back up. Lady's just kind of grabbing this fine meal. She's already hauling it. Good job, I guess. Quick, to, a little quick to the draw, huh? Oh, that's our last uh, fine meal. That's great. What are you stressed about? Uh, numbing cold. My teeth are chattering. All I can think about is getting warm. Yep. And night out in daytime. Yep. Super not happy about that. Uh, how about you just go to bed before you have a fucking mental breakdown? <laughs> Uh, you're just cleaning all the dirt everywhere. How's your? Oh, you got food poison. You're not gonna be good good for cooking anything anyway. Even if you weren't like have don't, had the flu. Cause yeah, the the pain from food poisoning can and will just drop a fucking pawn to their fucking knees. I've definitely had it happen where if I'd be playing with like a single person. And I was unfortunate enough to get food poisoning. I, like, if I was already hurt by something else, I would just my character would just collapse and just eventually just die because they're just not they're just unconscious. And it's like, well, shit. <laughs> Sh shouldn't shouldn't have ate that plate of food. She's just she's just cleaning. Well, since she's apparently really good at uh, what is this? Connector will connect with the gar gar Garanlin tree. The connector will touch the Garanlin tree and speak to it, forming a permanent link. Others gather in a circle to watch and add force to the ritual. Oh, it's too cold out to do anything for this ritual, so we're not going to worry about that right now. Instead, let's have you mine some steel, because eventually we will want lots of steel. Ooh, actually... Change of plans, you're mining this, because components are even more rare than steel is, so. Uh, enjoy. I guess we'll just kind of follow Lady around for now, because Lemur's asleep and they're sick still, so whatever. <clears throat> yeah, she's strangely really good at mining and medical. Not exactly the combination I was expecting, to be completely honest, but... Yeah, these components are going to be super impactful for when we actually unlock electricity. Now, for context, we, we started as a tribe of just three people in the tribal, like, in, in, like, in the tribal uh, tech tree. Which means we had precious few things researched, and our research speed is, like, the minor medic. Yeah, kind of. Actually, yeah, pretty much. But yeah, we started as like the a tribal start, so our um, faction is tribal based, so their research speech speed is lower, and they start with like they don't start with electricity. If you're a spacer start, you do start with like that kind of stuff, which I feel makes the game way too easy, because you can you can like immediately just like you awake? Why are you awake? Oh. Probably because you're done sleeping. I guess that makes sense, right? If you're done sleeping, you're probably gonna make me awake. Uh, awful bedroom. Yeah, I know. Two more, two, two point two more days at least. She's that's probably that's partially why she's in such a bad mood. Is she's awake 
a little too early. Not much we can really do about that. She's just gonna have to deal with it. Oh, you're you're actually tending like you're supposed to. Good. How are you doing? It's, how's your food poisoning? Still bad. Which is kind of unfortunate because we have like one meal left. <laughs> Which um, would be good to make more, but the only person that's moderately competent at cooking is Huntsman. <laughs> so um, having him do anything with like this kind of like stuff right now would be uh, bad. I mean, his food poison chance is still really low because of his skill, so we might have to we might have to force him to actually like get up and um, <laughs> do some cooking. As much as I don't want to, it's probably about as probably our only choice. Uh, we can't. We can make one more fine meal, but then we're gonna have to go back to doing simple meals. Drop on floor. Uh, Huntsman. Okay. Okay. Uh, Huntsman is still the only one I'm gonna allow to cook. And all right, bud. How's your, I'm gonna check his flu first. Oh, it's doing actually really good. And he's not even the one I gave the preach health to. How's yours doing? Oh wow, that's impactful because. Uh, previously, his was only ahead by like 7 or so, but now it's ahead by like 17. So yeah, that preach health thing is very powerful. Anyway, Huntsman's just been doing fine anyway, so we're going to have him uh, cook. Unfortunately. Wait, what do you... What's your... Contend now? Never mind. Uh, we'll have you tend after after you eat and he that's fair I, I'd say ha letting him have the last fine meals probably proper because you know it, he's the one that fucking makes them <laughs> is he asleep why are you asleep you know what whatever time to cook huntsman it's time to cook Oh, he's moving so slow. Like, if we turn on just one time speed, he's just... <laughs> he's, he's inching along. He's got food poison. He's got the flu. Hopping him Totally fine by me. I'll still be here. He, he is a, going a snail's pace right now. He might throw up somewhere, too. Oh, you're just hanging out. Okay. There he goes, at like one mile per hour. Maybe not even that. Yeah, we're, we're gonna make him move a little faster than that because I need him to actually like, this room is clean right now. See, as long as you, as long as you keep the room cleanliness above zero or not below zero, you have a lot less chance of getting food poisoning, but sometimes when people are like running around near and your person's making stuff, it like stuff just gets dirty and you just have to like try very, what, do I have a work area, do I have an area for this turtle to roam around in? So you don't even have an area. Oh, you, you, you're not assigned an area at least. Uh, let's, um... Let's, let's change no animals. Why do I not want animals in here? We'll, we'll edit that. We'll edit stuff. This age is... Fifth, this turtle is 51 years old. It's practically a spring chicken. Um, yeah, we don't want the animals to be in our, uh, our food room. But all this area that's like orange they can go to. Oh, is that like is that that I just somehow like cheese all seeing all the like the animals on the map? Huh, alright, well 
Cool, I guess. Yeah, I don't really mind if the, the animals come around. There, but I don't want them in there. That's pretty much it. Okay, raid defense. Um, I, need, I need to update this because I've uh, not updated it in a minute. Raid defense is basically if we're getting under, if we're under attack by like, well, raiders. You want to have people be able to be in the base. Okay, let me see, make sure that makes sense. For the most part, yeah. Alright. Alright, turtle. Crisis averted. Alright. Oh, he's not in a very good mood at all. What, what you doing? Oh, well. Numbing cold, intense pain, recreation deprived, darkness, unsightly environment, insulted, sick, body modder frustrated, slept in the heat, <laughs> attended a party. When did that happen? All right, cool, I guess, but, uh, oh yeah, you're, you're really cold because of the whole, uh, open roof in the freezer part you know that that thing <laughs> um i might have to i might have to just make you do stuff unfortunately i might not have it i might not have a choice in the matter of him making a few meals uh, well. uh let's make a few more than that <laughs> I didn't I didn't properly set the amount that I wanted to make so yeah we also have this pemmican that we can eat if necessary it won't last long I kind of want him to do recreation because he's in a not great mood because of it. I don't want him to snap. Uh, maybe doing that will let him uh, do some... Hmm. Um... What's your schedule set to right now? What time is it? Is 3H? All recreation. I can just set his schedule later to something else. Play some Hoopstone, you fool. Have the time of your life playing Hoopstone. Ah! <laughs> He's like, whoa, this, this hoop stone is so intense, he starts throwing up. <laughs> Admittedly, that's the um, the food poisoning, not the hoop stone. <laughs> but I like to think he had, oh, complex clothing. That's amazing. What well, safety standards? Work safety and hygiene is key in state staying healthy. Accidents do happen. It pays to be prepared. Allows the crafting of apparel by modern safety and hygiene standards and tailoring, smithing, tinkering, and machining benches. Okay. Integral part of apparel beautification and making them fit to wear. Unlock several new crafting recipes for your tailoring table. Noble apparel. We don't have to worry about that just yet. As far as main technologies go. 
Uh, we got complex clothing. Uh, can we get complex furniture next? Yeah, that unlocks stuff like beds or whatever. We're gonna. Yep, that's fine. Whatever. Lemur, you're out. You're on that next. She's gonna go fishing. It's minus twenty four outside. Why are you doing that? You're gonna. No. You're not gonna do that. <laughs> Hmm, I'm freezing to death. Maybe I should go fish. Okay, you're gonna go back to rest. Oh, you still have a freaking fine meal. Look at you. How's your flu doing? You don't need that. Go to back to bed. You don't need a sim you don't need to carry a simple meal, weirdo. Uh, real quick, how clean up the base. There's like so much wood just all over the base from all those walls we tore down. Lemur's not doing great. Still, I'm frankly surprised she hasn't like, oh, her expectations changed. Oh, it's because she's the abbot of Borobrin, of course. That's annoying. So she, I mean, after this goes away, things will probably be fine, but like, ugh. We're, we're just kind of just getting by just barely. Pretty good 10 quality. I'm glad we decided to gra grab a bunch of that. Uh, we, we decided to grab a whole. Where did. Oh, you're playing Ur, the game of Ur. And you're gonna go mining the components that you were mining previously. Oh, and then you're picking them. Oh, what a sweetheart. Thank you. I was going to have to manually tell you to do that, but you, you did it on your own. Okay, and she's refueling all the campfires and then trying to cheer people up. And I'll have her clean up the, uh, the hospital. Unfortunately for us, um, Lady here refuses to do anything involving uh, intellectual or crafting, so I can't make her. I can't have her research. She's abrasive. No wonder she's just calling people imps and shit. She's abrasive. She's like, you're a fucking imp. Is there some other mining chore I could have her do to keep her occupied? There's more components. I'm tempted to leave those on the map in case something happens and we need them. Because things very infrequently get destroyed when they're like in this form unless you destroy them. But things like if it's like in your storage, maybe it gets to, can something bad can maybe happen. They get destroyed in like item form. So just trying to keep from screwing myself over. And that way, um, well, let's see, structure-wise, oh, floors, uh, well, hmm. Well, <clears throat> hmm, interesting. Yeah, 
And if we turn on uh, the beauty stuff, uh, these um, these marble tiles give one beauty. I think these are marble tiles. Yeah. How much marble do we have? We have 236 of it. Now we can either do mar marble tile like these, or we could try to spring for uh, limestone tile like this. Let's see. Fine limestone tile has a beauty of three. I don't know if making that out of marble would make it worth four. But we can have like, mm, I don't think we should do those yet. We should probably, we could probably put something like this in here though. Because at the very least, uh, these tiles cost like only f four a piece. Okay, wood floors are neutral. Dirt and, um, yeah, like dirt and, um, what you call it, um, stone. Or, or less. And that's why your her room and the room in there is awful. Is it's just a dirt floor. At least near it's positive. Like at least the hospital's not a ba a shitty hospital. Woo woo. A picky. Little man. Oh, right. I like how I just have Olabar's bed here. Mm. I might end up making a hallway like here and here like this so that I can uh, have different rooms. Two, three, four, five. Oh, we'll... yeah, I think we're gonna play another bed play another bedroom right here so that eventually all this one will probably get replaced yeah this one's gonna eventually be like a power room like for batteries and stuff so we're gonna play in another bedroom here this is gonna turn into a hallway Plan another room here. This will. We'll hold off on this. Because I'll make this thing into, into like right here. Let's cancel that. Because we're going to make a big hallway. Hmm. Actually. Get away from my cords, Bubba. Hi, sweetie. Oh. Oh. Why are you so cute, mister? Blink, blink. Blink, blink. You're blinking more than me, and I'm a one-eyed monster. All I can do is blink. Oh, little man. I'm taking a cat-holding break.
All right, and off he goes. He gallops away. He gallops off into the sunset. We're going to do some weirdness here with this. So that's technically still closed off now. <laughs> he ran in here, meowed at me, and then galloped away like a little goober. Let's turn this off because all the little numbers are kind of distracting. How are y'all doing on the flu? 92? 96. Even with the little prayer thing, you just... <laughs> oh, well that would be why. Olabar is 52 years old, and Huntsman is 22. That explains a lot now that I actually fucking think about it. Ugh. Whatever, they're both gonna survive quite ha handily. Oh, shit. Nope, cancel that. What's your plant cutting at? Huh, I mean, it's good enough. I can have her cut these little trees down. That would have otherwise, would otherwise be in Lemur's way. Yeah, we're gonna shift things around a little bit. To make this another room because very soon these two are not gonna like huntsman will go back to using this room and this can be all of ours room but we're gonna I, I put i think i want to keep this as the hospital <laughs> hmm actually maybe this should become the hospital yeah this will become the hospital it could be kind of in the middle of the base instead of like up one of the ends because this is primarily where we try to have enemies come to fight us at, because we have the traps here that they'll go through to, to get softened up first. Okay, Lemur is right, right on it. So has been done with his flu. Yep. He has developed an immunity. So he is he's in the clear. Olabar is uh almost there. Well since you're feeling so such such like a spring chicken, how about you go cook some food? Cause we're out of food and people are starting to get hungry. But yeah, my plan that I came up with in my head just now is we're gonna be have um, we'll move this door over so it kind of makes sense. We'll have a hallway starting on here, going up, and we'll move the um, research stuff kind of. Mm, where are we gonna put this table? I mean, this could go against the wall actually, and it'll be fine. We only have four people. We don't need more seating than that anyway. Uh, this can, is that better than this one? It is, so. Olabar can keep this. Actually, no, those aren't very good. Well, well we're, 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 we're gonna be working on getting our stuff 
updated to be better soon. Oh, Lemur got... Jesus Christ. That's... Now she has food poisoning. How does that affect her construction? Success chance, 86. That's fucking annoying. That is, like, a major problem with uh, still being, like, in the dirt zone. Let's see. Rough-hued marble. I think most of this is uh, marble, but that stony soil is a problem, yeah. Um, I definitely... I don't know. I guess they just kind of get... Sometimes you just get sick anyway. Unless you have absolutely nothing but, like, this kind of shit, so... I guess we're just gonna have to have her keep building with 86% chance to succeed. It's not the end of the world, honestly, but it's just annoying. I'm watching the cleanliness of this room. Oh, we also got a, um... A uh, homing recurve bow masterwork from the thing that makes it all foggy here because it's not normally this foggy, but it's been uh, forced weather. And it's going to be foggy for 18 days. And yeah, we got the homing recurve bow. Which seems like it's pr was pretty good, so that's why I kind of accepted this. Is like, well, that's a really good weapon that I didn't have to make. Well, frankly, she's been doing pretty good for being having food poisoning for all this building shit. Not usually something you want to do. <laughs> Playing the game of Ur. Oh, yep, she's already botched a few um, walls pieces. A mad Ibex. Oh, boy. Well, Randy's been a little quiet lately, so I guess it makes sense. All right, so... Um, stop. We are going to cl forbid these doors so that people don't go out of them. Those are the three main ways to get out of our base currently. Oh, and that. Four. Because the Ibex Ram will, um... In that case, you'll probably go back to researching. Good, good job. Uh, for now, let's... <laughs> okay, he's gonna go play Hoopstone. Lady's asleep. The turtle's asleep. Uh, we're gonna have Huntsman, well, do what he does best, which is be a Huntsman. And the Ibex will probably come after us, since now it has a valid target, it will... Where are you going? Where are you going? Why are you running? What? Where? What? What are you... D yeah. Well, it ran r directly over that trap. Well, it's dead. Great. Eh, could be worse. At least we're alive. We can replace traps. We got, uh, like, how much wood do we have? We got 435 wood. A lot less wood than I thought. But that's fine. Well, I was going to say I was going to go have hunt huntsmen while well, hunt, but... That uh, simplifies things a little bit. This should go into our freezer area.
We'll have him do that because he's the one that butchers all the meat anyway. Okay. And we shall allow everyone to use those doors again. Ladies asleep. Where's. Is all of our stuff playing like hoop stone? What a lad. Uh, you're not, you don't need, oh, I still have him set to, like, always recreation. Uh, let's change his schedule to match that of everyone else. Put your creature... Uh, let's, uh, well, this zone be this zone now. And in this zone, we'll have, we'll copy the settings from there. And we'll paste those and we'll build that zone. And now this can be more of the storeroom. Okay, and then this can go like this. Okay, and Huntsman is gonna go butcher this Ibex Ram that Randy Rand decide to make mad. Oh, Lemur, what are you doing? Your chance went down even more because your, your food poisoning got more severe. How about you, uh, not do that? We'll just have to wait till you don't have food poisoning to... We'll just, we'll just lock Gleamer in this room. Get, you get the idea? You're supposed to research, honey. <laughs> She's just like, well, what do I do now? <laughs> Uh, this fucking game. All right. Well, that's like six more meals worth of stuff. Oh, it's 3 a.m. He's like, it's Betty by time. Oh, 19 more hours and that'll be gone. Oh yeah, the intense pain from, <laughs> make it stop, make it stop, make it stop. <laughs> the intense pain from, I don't know, food poisoning. Olibar is still just sleeping out here. Eh, he's fine. He'll be fine. Yeah, he's fine. He's, he's fine sleeping out there for now. We do need to get Lady a melee weapon, though, because... Um, oh, I forgot. We got a sawn-off shotgun <laughs> from one of the raids we had that came in. Um... I could have swore there was like an axe or something, but I think Olibar might have that. And he's the one, he's the primary uh, plant worker, so it's probably best that he keeps that. And crafting. Huntsman, this is the highest crafter, even though he's. Oh, what can I do? What can I make? That'd be a competent melee weapon. A whip? A traditional tool used for striking animals to aid guidance and earn obedience. Throwing rocks, a hatchet. Okay. Uh, what can we make the hatchet out of? 
stone blocks, metal wood or st a, a wood hatchet. That doesn't seem very good. Hmm. Well, I guess we can make one out of steel. Let's turn off all this other stuff. Because we, we have steel. We've got, we've got a few steel. So once he wakes up, I'm going to have him make a, a, a hatchet for, uh, for Lady to use. No medicine. Interlex range weapon. Yeah, whatever. Major break. I know. Let her out of her little research room to, to not eat without a table because that would be another mood penalty. No, don't, don't do that. This minus 20 is really just hurting tremendously. Disturb sleep, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Maybe Olabar should be the thing for now. Since he's not sick anymore. Yeah, we're gonna change it to Olabar. Because the, 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 the minus twelve to her expectations is is just doing awful things to her mood. Did somebody throw up in the middle <laughs> of the syrup? Lemur, no! Not like this. Oh, yep. Lemurs had a mental break. <laughs> That's fine. What is this? Monica V. Bendoz's exochrome secretary of Eastern <laughs> Veristan wants you to help save one of her caravans. The caravan is being hunted near Catasbia by two groups of wasters. Vey wants you to signal the wasters to draw them away from the caravan and towards you. No. We're, 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 we're struggling as it is. I don't need to be dealing with raiders while otherwise dealing with other shit. Cause she's just like psychotic wandering. Hopefully she doesn't wander into a trap. That would be a uh, very unfortunate. Uh, I'm gonna have to roof this unfortunately now because uh, just well no we might have huntsman just try to use up as much of this meat as possible after he makes this hatchet is <laughs> lemurs just wandering around the side caudic days vomiting everywhere <laughs> All right, lady, I got something for you. Cause she she's good at she's better at melee combat, so uh, we're gonna want to get her some armor at some point too, so that she can just be a tank. What are you? Do? You're just cleaning dirt. Okay, let's uh, let's get you some. Uh, it's like 15 meals. Yeah, it's like 15 meals that we can make out of what we currently have. So. Huntsman's about to be busy for a little bit. Refuel the stove and start cooking. Huntsman, we need to cook. <laughs> Yeah, lemur just vomiting everywhere. And... Oh, I forgot we could use the fish. Is Olabar making bricks? 
Or is he just hauling bricks in from somewhere? He, I don't know. What's lady doing? Cleaning dirt, waiting for food. It's still clean, so. Where's Lemur? Oh, there you are. Still psychotic wandering. <laughs> We're just so fucked. Um... Well, by the time she snaps out of it, she might have this thing gone. Oh, she's also sad. Oh, fuck. Yeah. That's actually worse than just keeping her... I don't know. <laughs> uh, Jesus Christ. You just can't win in this game when you're doing stuff like this. I didn't know that taking that role away from her would have would put her, sink her into a, a different kind of depression. <laughs> Then we're just going to try to cook all this meat now. Well, in five hours, we might be able to actually counsel Lemur to help some of her thoughts go away. Maybe that minus 15... Cute. Wandering, wandering, wandering. <laughs> that doesn't help either. Yeah, I fucking hate Twitches doing that. Fucking gross. Fucking turf shit ass wizard game. Yeah, Lemur is just like wandering around in a psychotic daze, throwing up everywhere because of the food poisoning. Well, we made we made a bunch of simple meals out of. Uh... Oh, we can make two more. Might, might as well. Might as well use up all the meat. Oh, and Lemur snaps out of her weird weirdness. Yep, oh, sleeped very temporarily, just enough to wake to continue psychotic wandering. It's like, oh, I can I, I can stop to eat some food. Oh, is it your mental state fine now? Or are you still just wandering around? Shelves. Oh, guess I better get some shelves for for here, cause now keep it to where things don't deteriorate, even if it's like open sky like this. Hmm. Well, let's see. Uh... Hmm, where would the shelves be? Uh, 
I don't fucking see anything with shelves. Finish off. Well, that's not exactly... <laughs> that's not exactly what I, um... I have a feeling it's, uh, complex furniture, which we don't have yet, so let's, uh... Lemur's a little... Deal dealing with psychosis right now. Thankfully, the, the minus 20 thing is fucking gone, though. So that will help tremendously. Huntsman's still sick. It's cold. It's dark. Bedroom's awful. We're gonna we're gonna be fixing that soon. Lady Olabar. I wish these two would hook up so I could just have one room for both of them. But you know, sometimes you don't get what you want. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna build another room here. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, maybe not. Um, because I want these to be five by five so they're just nice big rooms. Guess we'll build another one over here. Now I can make this room the replacement room for these two. All right, Hudson, since you're just doing so chipper and good and happy, how about you um go hunting? Let's see what we got on the map. Uh. Well, I was hoping the I was hoping the um, muffalos were still around because they're a pretty easy kill. I mean, most of these are, anyway. Mm. They're also far away, and it's so cold. Well, we might just have no choice but to take down some of these. Uh, all these wild boars, I don't want to, because I like piggies, but... That's a raccoon. That's a boom rat. Survival of survival, you know. If I was a bit more reckless, I'd go after the Mega Sloth. But they are uh, dangerous. Unless you can hit them fast and hard, you probably don't want to be hitting them at all. Because <laughs> they will kill you. They'll, they'll disembowel you and then just kind of wander off. <laughs> Okay, that's fine. Okay, Lemur's still just wandering around. Oh, Huntsman's doing some research. Ah, oh, old boy Olabar making some more. Oh, 
Some of the trees are coming back to life. Means it means the season's starting to change a little bit. Marriage is on. Huntsman told. Oh, motherfucker. You know what? Cool. Whatever. They're getting married. <laughs> Huntsman's like, okay, fine. Huntsman told Lemur that he wants to spend his life with her. Lemur agreed and the two are now engaged. At some point in the coming days or quadrums, they will have their marriage ceremony and invite all the colonists. Consider placing a marriage spot if you want to control where the ceremony occurs. Lemur, Lemur Hunter will, will change her last name to Hawk. Nice. Oh, that's because Lemur's uh, bio is Hunter. I was like, wait, I didn't think that was her last name. It's Marulo. <laughs> Well, that's nice. Does that give you a nice mood boost? Maybe when you're not in like a psychotic days. Still kind of just wandering around though. How long is this gonna last? <laughs> Hard to say. Tortoise one, what are you up to? I really, oh, it was, oh, no, that was someone else's thing. I was, I really, really need Lemur to not be like this right now. See, I could arrest Lemur, and I would probably stop the psychotic wandering. I'd snap her out of it, but then she'd be, uh, have a different negative moodlet from being put under arrest. Ugh. <laughs> well, at least... At least some research is still happening. Even though I was gonna have Huntsman, well, hunt. Yeah, how about we just do that instead so we can make sure we have enough food. Let's see how good this bow is because I've not actually seen him shoot this thing yet. God damn, yeah, that's a, that's a good bow. It, it better be. It's a it's a masterwork bow. All right, Paul, and you can take the ibex back with you. Who are you? Who are you, and why is your head missing? Oh. Oh. You're, you're that person, okay. It's some person that uh, followed the sky with paralytic abasia and I was like, I can't, I can't afford to take care of this person. So they kind of laid out there and died and I guess the animals have just been eating the body parts <laughs> over the winter. <laughs> oh, what a, what a lovely sight. Lady disrespected Lemur's value as well. That's fucked up. Is Lemur still dazed? Yes, but Lemur's eating food at least. That's nice. <laughs> You're just making more, more marble, which is good because eventually we're gonna want to make one of these. Uh, make a room that's for the ceremonies or whatever. I got this area in the water over here. Because the water uh, de makes things deteriorate faster. With it being unroofed outdoors and in shallow water, it's four, four 
durability a day. Oh yeah, there's this thing. I don't want to deal with that right now. <laughs> there's a raccoon just wandering this like fucking garbage heap. <laughs> Oh damn, she's off like a fucking shot. Just like, hey, let's uh take this corpse somewhere. managing our zones a little bit here have like meals in this one where it's still roofed over all bars just relaxing lemur is no longer finally well food poisoning is gone and hey she's gonna get married at some point Yay! <laughs> A war merchant. Okay. Lemur, can you please, like, not trap yourself in the spikes when you're building them, please? Okay, now she can build everything else I've been waiting for her to have to build. Hey, can you, like, still move through that? Oh, you can. Okay. Well, let's, uh, uh, can I cut these down? Sorry, Labar, I woke you up to, like, cut shit down so that we could get this building done, because otherwise the shit's never going to fucking get done. Okay, so. Oh, jeez, what is that? A silvathera a silvatherum therium? Ooh. It's like a that's gotta be like a giraffe. The bigness the biggest ruminant in history. <laughs> Unlike its modern equivalents, giraffes and uh, copies. Civitherium possess two pairs of ossicones. One that is wide and resembles the antlers, and the other being more horn like placed over its eyes. Well that's terrifying. Um uh, <laughs> Since Lady is our best social person right now, wake up and try to trade these people. See what they have. They would be willing to sell us their massive animals. <laughs> uh, we could sell a short bow. Cloth union suit. Oh, we could sell the sculpture that I had a uh, Lady craft. That might be worth that might be worth doing. Let's see what else we got. Broad wrap, wool veil, hyperweave tribal headdress. <laughs> Silly. A he heavy bone great bow. Hmm. 
damage, stopping power, armor penetration range, accuracy close, accuracy short, accuracy medium, accuracy long. Hmm. Not great. That doesn't seem like that bad of a weapon, honestly. Um. How much is this? Uh. 141. Well, we can basically trade that for this uh. Great bow. I feel like that's a good, good ch choice. What's a breech axe? A combined blade and tool head attached to a sturdy haft. While slightly less effective than other weapons against human enemies, it excels at tearing down walls, doors, and other structures thanks to its integrated tool head. Fair enough. Uh, what else we got? Write you all this stuff and then you can go back to bed. Lemur, I need you to be up doing stuff right now, cause yeah. Oh, I need more granite blocks. Shit. Um. these to haul so that they eventually like show up over here for us to do uh, block making um, well I think this is gonna eventually be the hospital this can be Olabar's room so let's go ahead and kind of get that plan going forward there let's build a copy just kind of like right there just so I have it available okay until we get this situation figured out we're gonna move you there that there that there because it doesn't need to be pretty I just need to get this out of the way so I can start building the hallways that I want to have they're going to be a more permanent part of the base. Build that. Okay, grab a meal. It should be nice and safe. <laughs> should be. Anand shared a word about eating artichokes. Good, good for you. Um... walk and move tribe people from are leaving because of the dangerous temperature oh well makes sense okay, it's not even like a okay that's all granite already I think I got rid of all the wood walls in my base already yeah I did good all right so Uh, let's go to floors and remove floor from all this because that's not gonna, what's it's not what's gonna be anyway and I don't want there to be like just random floors left behind can you please do what I want you to do no don't build that we don't have more blocks for it yet weirdo uh, who's who does who's doing the block cutting I probably had to be Olabar frankly 
Yeah, I did, because for a while he's just had nothing to do. But now Huntsman can uh, haul some of these. We've got a good amount of plain leather. We might be able to make some uh, actual clothing out of that now. Hand tailor bench. Only got one person that's going to be any good at that, and it's uh, Huntsman. Let's look at plain leather stats. Uh, insulation cold, 16C. Insulation heat. Yeah, it's pretty middle of the ro middle of the road. We could probably make some. Uh... What, can, what can we make toques out of? Oh, wools, which I don't think we have any. No. So no toques for us. Never mind. Not yet. We can grow some cotton when it's not like fucking winter. What about hoods? Can we make those out? We can make that out of leather. Uh, let's see. Um, I mean it's not not great uh, cold insulation. Hmm. Can we make a cowboy hat? <laughs> uh, let's. See. Cold insulation, no. Yeehaw! <laughs> a cape. That's pretty cool. Um, rod wrap, visage match, slice cap, slave collar, authority cap, tail cap, yeehaw. Gonna make this out of. Oh, we can. And how warm is this? Perfect. That's exactly what I need. We're gonna go from deer skull people to um, uh, Davy Crockett. <laughs> I guess. Uh, we'll make some cowboy hats too. We have a good amount of uh, plain leather from just all like the random crap we've been killing. So we'll make some stuff out of plain leather, and that will get. I'll make. Uh, I'll keep Huntsman gainfully employed for a little bit. Although he's probably gonna have to start cooking food soon because we're out of meals. <laughs> What's he making first? Uh, let, let's. Uh, I already started on it, so I don't want to stop him. Uh, let's suspend the cowboy hats for now, because it's still pretty cold. It's a poor cowboy hat. I mean, it's still probably better than nothing. Um, we need to make, have you make food, though, which means we need to butcher this. Yeah, we had a lot of rice that got burnt up last stream, because Randy decided to drop lightning bolts on my fucking wood store room. <laughs> Because we did a tribal start, because we, so we didn't have stone cutting, and I made the mistake of not re researching very quickly, or very soon, or specializing anyone to be a researcher, so I made things harder on myself. Oh wow, that's like eight meals. Well, let's do, let's do it. Uh, your bow is great. Who else is good at shooting? I might have someone else go and, uh... I mean, you're good enough at shooting to probably make it work. Hold the bar. I think he's just been hauling rocks all day. <laughs> he's just been hauling rocks. Damn it. Yeah, that's a, that's a damn it Randy moment. For sure. It's like... Mmm. That's a, that's a nice... That's a lot of rice he got there. It'd be... Sure would be a shame if something happened to all of your rice. And you only had, like... A stack and a half of rice left for 
in, like in fall. I don't know if it was exactly fall, but it was pretty close to the point where we could only grow like a harvest or two more of it. <laughs> so. Excuse me. Where's Lady at? Olabar, convert. 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 Well, Olabar failed to convert Lady. Lady was upset by the attempt, but it certainly fell. Great. Does that actually mean anything? Um. This is it's gonna take a while. And now he's got to wait like, he's got to wait like three days. <laughs> Just, yeah, it's, mm. when we get, but maybe when we get a little better uh, situated for not like just scraping by, we can <laughs> put on the cowboy hat. <laughs> I didn't even know he had a beard. Granted, he was wearing this uh, skull mask. Which doesn't really do anything for us. I mean, it does do stuff, but like, eh. I didn't know he had a beard. <laughs> it is pretty funny that he immediately just went to put on a cowboy hat. Uh... I'm gonna have to have him go hunt something else. Honestly, impressed that they got this many, that many blocks. Let's uh, get let them get more blocks because we'll be able to turn all these into building stuff. All right, good job. Uh, what's the wild? What what wild? There's a red fox. What what you doing? Why are you like partially dead? Oh, you killed. You fought a raccoon. The raccoon expired. <laughs> well. Oh no, not one of these motherfuckers again. We had, we dealt with one of these last stream too. This terrestrial crocodile possesses long legs, which render it much better of a runner than its modern equivalents. Quincana's teeth are shaped like knives, which make them perfect for... The, the, the raccoon was unalived. <laughs> no, you see what happened was uh, the raccoon had a, a, had a best by date of like two seconds ago. Uh, this is part of the... Um, the meg meg megafauna. Like, if I play Rimward, I have to have this mod because it has like a lot of really cool big monsters. not monsters, animals. Like that, like one of the like the uh, war merchant that was here earlier had like ancient like extinct giraffes basically. <laughs> and I like that kind of stuff, as you may expect. Okay, now you're making tail caps. It's a party! Lady is throwing a party. Everyone who g goes will gain react recreation and social energy. Uh, well, do we have a party spot that we can put down? I want to say we probably do somewhere, but currently our recreation room is uh, in the workshop next to piles and piles of bones. <laughs> uh, Meditation spot, caravan hitching spot, drop spot, uh... Where is the... Where is the, um... It's kind of swear there's like a party spot somewhere. Hmm. Maybe that was a mod. It's very possible that what I'm looking for is probably from a mod somewhere that I just don't have anymore. Maybe it didn't... 
Hasn't been. No, no, it's right here. I'm stupid. Um. Maybe they'll have their party there. I guess they decide to have the party in the hospital. She, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Visitors. Oh, they got some items to trade. Uh, I think Olabar needs to get... Um... Well, we'll wait till the party's done, because this will be a good thing for their, for their morale. Party is finished. I wanted to give him a bow so that if there's nothing else going on, he can maybe try to kill something. Invite Trader to party for relations rough. That would be cool, but the party's definitely over, and I didn't think it think of that far ahead. Oh yes, these people, these purple masks. They're the purple tribe. Eastern Veristan. They just all have these weird ass masks. Neither did the yeah, the game just like fuck you. Uh what you Oh, ladies wearing one of the tail caps. And that greatly increases her cold resist, so that's nice. Well, while you're at it, how about you go talk to Madam over here? And let's see what we got. You got some medicine. You have one medicine that I'm probably gonna buy. Reinforced barrel. Frag grenades. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you don't see me right now, but I'm twirling my hair a little bit with one of my fingers, thinking about frag grenades. Um, yeah, we're, we're buying frag grenades and medicine, and we'll probably sell, uh, I don't know. Um... <laughs> no, no. I, I, I've tried like a few streams with like an actual webcam and didn't go well. Not really a big fan, so it was it was perfect timing for VTubing to kind of happen because like a bit after that is when I first started seeing VTuber stuff. So we started doing that, you know. Okay, so we, we're gonna buy the frag grenades, which would be just nice to have because we can use those to to fight people or <laughs> throw frag grenades at animals, I guess. Uh, we'll probably sell this wooden short bow at this point. Because I'll probably end up giving shot, selling off shotgun to lemur or something. And we've got two bows, and we've got the other person that's a melee person. So the frog grenades might not get used. I don't know. We'll find out. But I want them anyway. Hauling medicine and... Haul those frag grenades back too while you're at it. So we trade our silver for usable items. Lady, what are, what are you fuckers? They're going on a date. God damn. Lady's just like, hey, you want to go on a date? And Lemur's like, oh, I'm, I'm engaged, but okay. <laughs> What's all this blood from? Probably the, uh, the big centipede thing that died last stream. Uh. Ah, I see. I know they're good, I know they're good for, like, um, some things that are, like, they're good for, against raiders, of course. Because you can kind of throw them roughly in an area. Instead of, like, having to, like, shoot something directly so you can kind of probably hit things you otherwise might not have as much of a chance to hit, I would say.
Okay, Olabar's still still hauling chunks. Oh, Huntsman's wearing the cap now too. <laughs> Olabar now now Lemur can wear one. Yay! They're just going on a date out. Lady and Lemur talked about vomiting. Perfect time to just come back to these two fucking weirdos. Just walking, just... Lemur tried to convert Lady to her own ideology and Lady was not convinced. Well, that's out of nowhere. Just, just still trying, huh? All right, I mean, it's gotta happen at some point, I guess. Chatted about gauntlets. Okay, cool. Good, good for y'all. Okay, and then uh, Lemur put on that, and then decided that the tail cap was better. Honestly, I'm thinking of putting Huntsman and uh, Lemur on the same shift. Since they're, you know, gonna, like, get married. <laughs> and, you know, you know that thing that's gonna happen at some point. Just queer things. Talking about vomiting. Going on a date talking about vomiting in the middle of the field. <laughs> oh, that's so silly. Their tummies hurt, but they're very brave. <laughs> exactly, yep. Sometimes t a, 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 t a tummy ache survivor. <laughs> Fuck's sakes. I'm trying to just think of what I'm gonna do with this rec room situation, because I wanna make this like a big, like kind of diamonding slash rec room. Like when you walk right in. So I'm gonna have to likely move the uh, research room over here, which means more building, which means more granite blocks, which means eventually Olabar is gonna get to it, but it's just not yet. We could probably actually make some dusters. How much of this do I have left? 372. Oh, wrong thing. Uh, let's see. That Those take uh, 25 each, so that'll be 75. Uh, I think dusters take a lot. Like 80. Yeah, they take a lot. Um, we, couldn't, we, we don't have enough. Well, I think we might have some more. No, it got haul, hauled in. We're gonna need to, um, uh, let's see, eight, six, oh, we do have enough for four dusters. I think we'll work on that, because dusters are just very good. We'll, be, we'll, have to, we'll have to make them out of the, uh, the leather that we have, this plain leather, which is fine. It's pretty good leather. And... We'll have to just keep hunting more stuff because we're going to need more food soon. But we all have, at the bare minimum, we have these little tail hats which keep us from being super cold. Uh, schedule, yeah. Uh, we're going to change Huntsman to match Lemur. Since they are, so that way they can sleep near each other. Now, they're currently not sharing beds because, you know, babies hap babies can happen in this game now. Although I've done this to try to prevent that, but the easiest way is just to make them not have a shared bed. Make baby. I'm trying to have actual an actual, like, stockpile of food and such and electricity before I do any sort of baby making.
Well, Olabar's up early moving rocks around. Like the Chad he is, he's just like, it's time to move rocks. He's like these CrossFit fool, fools. They're like, oh, we're gonna, I'm gonna go outside, pick up a rock, and move it around. Chunks of spacecraft have been picked nearby. Oh, that's actually pretty close. Gains, <laughs> right? Fucking gains. He's gonna. You are in a very good mood already. I'm gonna have to have him go hunt something because we are out of the uh, meat. What did you last? You're just kind of hanging out. You're not even like. Uh, let's see. There's donkeys. Those would be good food. Uh, what else? Horses! Alright, uh... Sorry, horses. What's, a war what's this warg doing? Oh, it's hunting a hare. Okay. Good. I was afraid it was gonna... It decided that it wanted to come towards us. Nice shot, loser. Really? What's my chance to hit? Uh, 55%. A bit over a coin flip. Oh, that was... That was a hell of a coin flip. One shot, one kill, you know? Should get us some more plain leather, too. Lady, what are you up to? Cleaning dirt? I need something to get her more gainfully employed with. Uh, is there anything to mine over here? I could probably I could go mine some steel. That or I could make her like the chief hauler. Since otherwise she's just like doing doctor stuff and mining. Yeah, she'll be the chief hauler. It's good to have somebody to, to do that because there's a lot of stuff to haul around sometimes. Being said, I can't have her mine as well. So if there's mining to do, she'll do that first. Let's. All right, cool. I'll keep. I'll give her something to do other than just running around cleaning like a, like a cleaner. <laughs> Okay, we got like three. I got like four spots left for bricks. Let's expand it a little bit more. And where's Huntsman? Making a duster. She is wait. She is waste. No, stop. <laughs> I mean, he's he was before she landed. He he was the miner. Uh, in that case, you're gonna. Uh, I guess he gets to go to sleep. She's finished that. Uh, let's see. Okay. 
turn, turn that off. What? What are, oh, Lemur's doing this. So I was like, what in the hell is Lemur doing? Where'd she find components at? Let's be a little smarter about this. Being a little smarter that's something that has never occurred to any of these room world people ever. Oh, does it make sense for me to like pick up like one component and leave like the other ten laying on the ground? Yes. <laughs> it makes perfect sense to just not fucking do that, I guess. I don't know. Sweet. Another like 50 something plain leather and a bunch of meat that we can use for meals. Okay, Olabar is making more blocks, which is perfect. We need him that we need him to desperately be. We desperately need more blocks to finish building this stuff. Because this is gonna be the hospital. This is gonna be. Um, Lemur and Huntsman's new room. And when we get electricity, this will be a little battery room. Let me chip this stuff. <laughs> All right, so. He's doing that. I need him to cook. How much meat do we have? 210? Well, since it's still kind of cold out, we're making... Tw <laughs> Boys, dude's gonna make 21 simple meals. <laughs> we're gonna have to very carefully watch uh, the whole cleanliness thing. Normally I'd have him just drop him on the floor, but I think in the ca this case, since the the way I have it set up, it's where it's like right on the way anyway. He'll he'll cook the meal. He'll take. He'll probably drop it like right here, and then he'll go grab some more stuff. I have, I haven't actually have an idea to make to to make this even better too. Expand that. Expand this. Copy settings. Paste settings. And on this stockpile, we'll change its priority to preferred. Olabar has just been, we'll have him stop making blocks after, 
Well, we'll have him stop doing the blocks after that one so he can come in and get some food or something. She's just been slowly but surely just making the walls over there. Let's make sure his station is still clean. Olibar, no! You absolute Chad. Um, well, this is gonna be your room anyway, Olibar. So let's let's find are any of these beds better than the other. No. Well, this is your bed now, Olibar. You get the nice room since you've been putting up with like you've been put. He's been putting up with sleeping just out in here. So I'll give him a ni the nicer bedroom. All right, nice. Okay, and it's still like negative 11 in here, so that's good. Now he can actually make the dusters. I think when Olabar wakes up, I'm gonna have him go hunt. Cause I think we have enough blocks currently to finish off what I was wanting to build there. Okay, let's move these, move these, and then we're gonna build another door. He got bored, so he's gonna go play the game of Ur with his wife to be. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, you're very hungry. Well, I guess that makes sense, so I could be a little upset. Okay, you're awake. And you've got this bow. It's not it's not quite as good as the other bow that um What's his face has a uh, huntsman, but it's pretty good. I bought it on purpose. It's pretty decent bow. It'll get the job done. Uh... Matter of fact, let's go give it a shot. <laughs> Literally. Why are you? Oh, they're eating, they're eating at the body. Oh, no. Well, I mean, pigs do that. They are omnivores. They're like, we have found food on the map. Engage. Oh, oh God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well. What are you, what do you do? Oh. Well, that would have been nice to know that was there. That would have been a lot more meat. But, yeah, it's uh, probably not going to last there for much longer. Uh, Alright, Ulibar, uh Olabar is not going to hit shit when he's that far away this bow and his shooting skill is not super great either so it's just like a, a perfect storm of just shit oh hit, hit you that time huh got it what's the Nice shot, dude. Pew. Went a little wide. That's okay. Ooh. Alright. 
finish the finish your job. Swiggity swooty. All the bars coming for that booty. <laughs> it's bleeding out in the nine hours, but that's there's some valuable shooting XP to get. Even better if I can just have him miss a bunch, because then we don't have to... Did it leave? I mean, I guess it makes sense it would leave the map, but I just don't know if I've ever really had an animal leave the map like that. Huh. Well, alright. Guess we'll go after a different one and maybe scare it the other way. Like... Oh, there's like a rotten rat corpse. Oh, uh, your hypothermia is... Actually, you need to go back. We don't have the dusters quite yet, so we're still a little cold. You're just kind of hanging out. You kind of ran out of mining stuff to do. Okay, lady just can't stone cut. That's un that's unfortunate because that would be a really nice thing of her to just be able to do is just stone cut when we've got nothing else for her to do. Um, terror sculpture. Hmm. Well, I can I can have her carve something else out of marble, I guess. She, she does have artistic. <laughs> Olabar straight up just looks like Davy Crockett. <laughs> ah, I see. Uh, I just have never had an animal like leave like mid hunt like that. Cause it, like I was shooting at it, it just kind of ran away. I was wasn't real. I just haven't seen that before. And, well, now these boars are over here because um, they were eating. They ate that human corpse where this club was, and then they ate this ram that was dead over here. So hopefully they'll keep all the predators on the map busy. Cause I don't want to deal with them. I can. Like I I killed one of these uh. Like one of these things last stream because it, it was like right here and it kept trying to attack people so I did the whole enter 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 the house step out shoot and then leave and fix the doors and all that because yeah it, it was causing me some problems oh blessed be Olabar Making some more blocks for us. He's going to sleep. Lemur is awake. And so are you. Oh, first duster. It's not very good, but honestly, we don't have anyone that's like really suited for crafting. Oh, yep, yeah, that gives us from minus one to minus ten. Good. This next season, we're going to be growing like a lot of cotton so that we can make a lot of clothes now that we know how to do that well, let's adjust these zones At I think once we get a uh, complex furniture, which I think is what we're about to finish researching, we can do shelves, and we'll do that to um, we'll have shelves for the the meals, and the meals won't deteriorate and all that fun stuff. Okay, Olbar woke up and he's already smashing blocks into smaller blocks. Oh, we got a raid! How many of you? Is? Oh, I see more than one arrow. That's Oh, shit. Oh, the fucking furries! 
You got a steel knife and you've got a steel axe. Ooh, whoa! Fucking furries. Alright, Olabar, I'm gonna need you to, uh, uh, uninstall this. Like. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Um, Lemur, please. Because we have very precious little time to get stuff done before this raid happens. <laughs> um, thankfully, none of them, neither of them are ranged weapons, so we can kind of cheese them with the uh, traps here. You, know, you just go inside, buddy. Lemur, can you help? Can you uninstall that real quick before they get here? Because otherwise, they're gonna break it. Just take that inside for me, please. They should be coming. Yo! <laughs> it's just named Yo. Yo! It's a nice knife you got there, Yo. Oh. Well, they're fleeing, and you're not dead. Um, psychically deaf. A cannibal. A straight cannibal. Unfortunately, I don't really have anything I want. Otherwise, I'd probably recruit this uh, Yitakin. We also don't really have the resources to justify taking on someone else just yet. I uh, don't really want your clothes either, but I guess we might as well. Did Olivard get his freaking shooting, a shooting skill up? Oh, he did. Good job, Olivar. Uh, how about you strip our little tactician here? Made the ta made the tactical freaking genius play of I don't know walking right into traps. Uh, what about you, Reese Clark? Uh, very, uh, you're also 78 years old, Jesus. Um. Well, enjoy, have a nice life, whatever your name was. Uh, Reese. <laughs> I already forgot what their name was. Okay, we're gonna take your stuff. Please don't get hurt hauling that. Thank you. And we're just gonna let you bleed out there, little furry friend. Oh, Huntsman got a crafting skill up from this, so that'll make things a little faster. person. It is five. Oh, it's 5 a.m. They raided us at a really bad time. Well, now you get to just lay there, I guess, and think about what you did. <laughs> How about... Oh, you're still on raid defense. I was like... A lady, sh lady is too. Okay. All right, Lammer. Start hauling. Haul the stuff out of the way. Uh, 
I think I think they're probably in shock at this point. Stare. Oh no! <laughs> Someone spayed and neutered this motherfucker. Um. Yeah, she she got sterilized. That's not great. Sorry, sorry for your loss, but well. He also had asthma. Well, <laughs> all right. Well, rip. Maybe she wanted to. Yeah. Fair enough. There's a possibility. Though, on the rim, a lot of things like that probably aren't uh, voluntary, so it's probably not as great as that, I guess. I don't know. Words. Tortoise, what are you doing in here? Oh, there's like no food for you. You're just like, oh, I'm hungry. There's, there's bushes out here. There's grass right here. Why are you not eating? Eh, whatever. The tortoise kind of self-tamed. Talk deeply about life stresses. Bleed down in point nine hours. Well... Thanks, thanks for the uh, herbal medicine, I guess. Okay, how about you take her to the uh, the, uh, the the Splash Mountain? Yeah. That's what we'll call it. <laughs> He was like very laser focused on just like making that duster. What are you, are you doing hoopstone? Okay, that's acceptable. Now, what are you doing? Oh, you're still working on your sculpture that you're almost done with. Were you able to sell that for some silver and that wasn't part of why we were able to afford the grenades. What are you doing, eating? Let's see who, what else we can hunt. Oh, we have an immature dryad now. It's taking a snooze. It's currently too cold for us to really do this with this tree. But eventually we're gonna have someone that'll be able to commune with the uh, tree. It's probably gonna be Olabar, because he's good with plants. And then you got the little dryads that do stuff for us, which is gonna be nice. We have ones that make us herbal medicine, which is honestly probably the one I'll do because this is free herbal medicine. Hard, hard to really argue with that. Although we can probably grow that soon anyway. Yeah, we already can grow that. So maybe not that one. Maybe the one that gives us wood. I don't know. It's still a little early to be thinking about that wildlife let's look at that again i got distracted when i saw the di the, the dryad uh donkey more stallions i'm willing to deal with stallions i'll have all of our come over here and shoot them towards the base Oh, that warg's a little hungry. Maybe we don't want to be out here right now. Hmm. That's not hungry. It's a been eaten. I don't know if I want to know. But there's donkeys over here. We'll shoot them instead. And a bear. Has it been eaten? eating anything? No. Damn it. Don't scare the donkey away. Ah. 
Now this could go very poorly if I hit if I somehow hit this thing. I did not though, thankfully. That would be typical Rimworld, like I shoot the donkey, I hit this thing, and it just chases me down and eats me. That would be typical Rimworld stuff. We'll just kind of path it closer to the base. I can't be I can't be bothered hauling it all the way back. Where you going, donkey? Donkey. <laughs> Here to the rap tap tap of something being built. What is being built? Oh, these. I was like, what in the hell's being built? I don't remember saying to build anything. Point blank, just stab him with the arrow. You sure you want to go that way, donkey? That's a little far away. I don't know. It's fleeing. Yeah, we're yeah we're gonna have to probably try to kill it now before it, like it's too. Oh come on. Be a good sport about it. <laughs> Why do they sound like that? Uh, they're just like, oh, fine. <laughs> I guess I'll die. <laughs> oh, I suppose. What are you up to, Lemur? Oh, you're, you're building the spike trap again. Making duster. Hmm. Food situation. We. Oh, I guess we uh, picked up this raccoon at some point. I uh, guess we'll cut them up. Visitors. Uh, Veristan. These fuckers with the masks. Well, that got us a good amount of meat. Uh, it's still pretty cold out, so we can probably get away with just making it all into meals immediately. So that's 15. How many more dusters do we need to make? Uh, two. Alright. Well, one of them's about done anyway, so we'll finish that one. Oh, you decided to cook instead now. Why are you placing them there? Why not, like, literally right next to where... You know, like, right next... Ooh, level 9 cooking. That just means it'll just be faster to cook. And even less food poisoning chance. Stop. It got dirty. All 
There, now it's clean. Yeah, like if, if you cook food when it's the cleanliness is anything but zero or higher, you, you can get the dirt the dirty cooking area thing. Animal disease oh no, tortoise one. What have you been what have you been eating? You have the flu. That's weird. <laughs> uh I I guess tend our, our tortoise. I don't know if I want to use medicine on them. Because I think with tending, it probably doesn't need medicine. Because animal diseases are a lot less severe. Most of the time. Tortoise, what are you? That's not resting. That's walking. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> You're just, just wandering around in circles. Okay, kitchen's clean. Uh, Robar's just wandering too. Uh, well, it did say uh, we need wood, so I guess we should probably have him cut some trees. I'll give you something to do. There you go. Enjoy. <laughs> Complex furniture. Finally. Tables. Blah, blah, blah. Tool cabinets. Blah, blah, blah. Hopefully that means shelves. Okay. Modern furniture. Learn to build furniture in the modern day that's focused on the practicality over beauty. Such as roulette tables, wardrobes, dartboards, punching bags, and ergonomic beds, artisan furniture, waste disposal, uh, gunpowder. Honestly, next thing we might research is probably just jumping straight to electricity, because, um, yeah. It's, electricity is it, very impactful. Um, being said, can we make uh, shelves now? Hmm. Hmm. Let's look. Ship, biotech, power, hmm. Not production. I would assume it's furniture, but then again, I don't know. Oh, here we go. There just looked weird. Uh, a small triple stack shelf that holds three times as much as empty ground. Items stored inside will never deteriorate and don't affect the beauty of their surroundings. Since shelf space is limited, shelves cannot hold chunks, buildings, plants, and large corpses. A triple stack shelf. Well, we can pro. We we can make it out of bones. We got a lot of bones. It's not creepy at all. Grab a nice little bone shelf. Is hard at work, just, just.
I've never used these shelves before. I didn't know they stored three times as much things. Looks kind of weird. In that case, I can probably delete that because each spot here can hold 30 meals, so that's like 60 meals. Uh, maybe we should build another one. Just for meals as well. More bones! Link settings. Okay, so now these both have the same settings, so they'll only hold meals. Alright. I can deal with that. That's pretty easy. Which means 36. I can hold like a, I can store 120 meals in this one space. And even with the building being like partially open to the outside world they won't deteriorate which is pretty sweet I might need to start doing shelves for like stuff like steel in here so that we can clean up the floor is just a lot of shit <laughs> um, and we'll do some shelves in here it'll use up some of the bones It'll look a little nice. It'll be a little less fucking ugly. Oh Jesus Christ, lady, stop! Just no, <laughs> just filling it with all kinds of garbage. Well, enjoy your cloud watching, weirdo. I can't imagine there's very many, uh, oh yeah, what is, what are you, oh, you're sleeping out there. Why are you sleeping, oh, that one's medical. Fine. Well, well, I don't want you outside, that's weird. Go inside, weird little turtle. That's a party spot. Oh, Jesus Christ, ladies. No, I don't want it full of all that stuff. I mean, I, I want it full of stuff, just not that stuff. Um, okay, I need to have one of these shelves selected first. And uh, clear all and raw resources. I want these ones just for steel, because, yeah. I mean, steel can actually just kind of go outside, honestly, but. Mm. Maybe stuff like wood and like bone instead, then. And we can make a, a shelf or two outside just for uh, steel. Oh, Lemur's asleep right Of course Lemur's asleep right now. A, a ranger named Sleepy. <laughs> that... Oh my, oh my, are you a piggy? You were, you were a pig skin. Oh my goodness. Strong immunity, reduced pain, pig ears, pig voice. <laughs> Carriers have a squealing voice like that of a pig. Skin color, fat body, me too. Nearsighted, trotter hands. Carriers of this gene have hands that partially resemble pig trotters. This reduces their ability to manipulate objects. Pig nose, poor cooking. Carrier's, carrier's aptitude in cooking is reduced by four. Aptitude acts like an offset in skill level. Well, let me guess, you're a really good cook. 
Okay, no, you're you're not a very good cook. Um, unfortunately, you're not someone I need. If you had crafting, I would take them on. But I, we're currently still dealing with kind of a bad resource situation, for food wise. We're having to constantly just hunt stuff. But if we were like in the like springtime with a whole bunch of crops and stuff, then yeah, I would be a lot less worried about taking on another person, but we're a little not, we're not in a good spot right now. So we're probably going to take your, <laughs> we're probably going to take your clothes off before you die. That way we can at least use them for something. Like maybe we can wear them ourselves. Sir, sorry. Just big. Um, I'm just gonna haul all this stuff. Worst comes to worst, we can sell this stuff. But if we would have waited till she died to do that, um, all the stuff would be tainted by, you know, dead. Uh, needs warm clothes. What do you mean needs? <laughs> That's a perfect still. He's just like, mmm, naky. Uh, what did you do? Oh, you took off your tribal wear for the, for the mammoth pants that the pig lady was wearing. What in the fuck? <laughs> you know what? Cool. Whatever. Whatever works, dude. Enjoy. Silly ass fucking game. Okay, and then after you haul that, you're gonna haul Sleepy to uh, Splash Mountain. Can I actually just name the stockpiles on this? Uh, Splash Mountain. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I should not be given this amount, this level of power. Ah, uh, Splash Mountain 2! <laughs> Fuck sakes. You're just still cutting trees. You're finishing that. You're wearing like a fucking trench coat now. Take Splash Mountain. I'm guessing the best stockpile is gonna end up being this now, because I don't think we allow meals anywhere else. No. How's the turtle doing? How's tortoise doing? Uh, uh, you're fine. Okay, lemur is actually doing these. These can be for steel. fine it's probably like minus 10 oh it, oh no they'll be it they'll be slightly uncomfortable whatever they're fine it's fine
Electricity is gonna take a while. <laughs> what we could do is we could make multiple of these benches and have like two people researching at a time. What are you? What What are you wearing? Oh, you're <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, you've got this. You're wearing a waist cloth. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Weirdness. I think I know what happened to all of our wood. All these damn campfires. Oh, not that. Uh, what? What is this? A celebratory gathering for a colonist to have fun. Oh, I need a divine chief. I don't need a divine chief, but... Lectern and pews and... Honk shoe me me me's. Uh, let's maybe not do the dance party. <laughs> I was gonna cancel the, I was gonna destroy this. As much as I want uh, electricity, I should probably get this stuff all moved around where it needs to go. <clears throat> I need to build this. Uh, let's reinstall you up here. And we're going to need a door for this eventually anyway, so we'll put the door here for now. So this remains a uh, working room. You go one all the way around. Why? Why was that? Why did you think that was necessary? Because, I mean, we're about to build all this crap. But now this is still considered room in case we have to stop for some reason. Chatted about fat animals. Okay, Huntsman is... Oh, you're taking Sleepy to Splash Mountain. <laughs> well, I mean, yay, Splash Mountain. Oh, God, more corpses. Wait, you had a head before. Well, I guess that's one way to keep the animals happy is, uh... <laughs> Question is, who ate your head? It wasn't you. What, did you fight something recently? No, I don't even. That that they definitely had a head when I last looked. So did you? You're missing your head too. <laughs> God, it's fucking game. I swear, oh, that's a. We're probably gonna need another uh, another another thingy. I'll have Lemur finish this up. Because that's going to be the semi-permanent place for this uh, lab. To keep it out of the way. We're gonna have to put this torch in the way for now because I kind of have ideas.
They may not necessarily be good ideas, but they are, in fact, ideas. Uh, not that one. That one. What are you, you're just moving stuff everywhere, all over the place. Bone shelf. Uh, well, after you eat your meal, go make this bone shelf. We have so many bones, I might as well use them for something. And these shelves will be just fine. They, they are going on a date for once. It's almost always been Lady just hitting on Lemur. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so... Our base that I'm wanting to do is starting to take shape a little bit more. Um, I mean, I guess I guess I could just have people walk through the uh, ritual place to um, to do uh, what you call it um, research. It's not going to matter much. So let's. Probably shouldn't have should have left a space like in here somewhere. I, mean, I guess I still can, but that would make things weird. Yeah, I'm not. We're not gonna be able to do that. Um. Hmm. Actually, we might move some of this stuff back. You know, I just, I literally just moved it. Hmm. I don't know. I'm, I'm indecisive. <laughs> I want this to be a separate room instead of just bedroom. we can do that is we can do that and then we can have a uh, a campfire and eventually a heater there I guess for well what you would expect a heater to do what 
what is Lemur up to? Oh, on Lemur is on a date. Oh god damn it, when did this get all this stuff on there? <laughs> Asleep. What are you doing? Just wandering around. <laughs> oh, that's right. We uh, uninstalled the uh, table. I think you're fine on Hoopstone, buddy. You're gonna make yourself bored. Why is this one still not linked? Are you only able to link two? Oh, they are linked. Uh, unlink settings. Link settings, okay. Hmm. They're all, I want only steel on this. Okay. Mostly because steel won't uh, deteriorate outside, so. Maybe I did. <laughs> I have no idea. Damn it. I probably did. That, that sounds like something I would do. Can you please build? Welcome back. Uh, we've been um, building a little bit more on the base. We moved some stuff around. I uh, had a raid earlier with a furry person that is now currently residing in our in a Splash Mountain. Their head's missing. I don't know when that happened. Like we, we keep the dead corpses over here so they just deteriorate. Deteriorate. That's the right word, right? Deteriorating. Yeah, that's that's the word. It just sounds wrong, even though it's not. <laughs> so now we're building these uh, big. Uh, we're uh, these damn 
clear all. Only steal on these shelves, please. I'm trying to sort my stuff a little bit better, too. Steel doesn't degrade outside. Granted, I don't think stuff would degrade outside anyway on these shelves, but it definitely won't. It, the steel de definitely doesn't degrade outside anyway, but... Need warm clothes. Oh, we have a caravan. Oh, where are you guys? Where are you guys? Are you already here? They're on their way. <laughs> Olivar, stop. He's been doing nothing. He's been like working himself to death just making these blocks for no good reason. Olabar had a heartfelt conversation about life memories with Huntsman. That's great. Oh, we also made some uh we also got made some uh kind of like duster jackets and these um Davy Crockett hats. <laughs> so we're no longer got the deer skull helmets or skull masks or whatever. We've got we're the Davy Crockett gang, I guess. Lady's already asleep, but we're gonna probably just wake her up real quick to try to trade with these folks with Beaver over here. Speaking of which, I needed you to go f kill some aminals. Not aminals, uh, wildlife, which they are. Ooh, grizzly bear, what are you up to? You, you fought with a stallion and. Uh, you're, you're basically fine. I would be ill advised to pick a fight with you. However, the stallion still has plenty of good body parts, so we're gonna scavenge the stallion. Even better if I don't have to actually kill it myself, I guess. Here, Olabar's going to sleep. We've, we've moved the, oh, trading time. Uh, let's see, you sell yaks. <clears throat> yeah, this stuff, you got milk, duck eggs, components which you'd buy. You have mammoth wool for sale. That's fun. I don't don't know where you got mammoths from, but yeah. Uh, let's see. Anything else interesting that we can buy from you? Otherwise, I'm just gonna sell them a. Uh, I'm gonna sell them these skull masks. We don't really need them anymore. Same with. Uh, we'll keep the tribal wear for now. Uh, we'll sell that. We'll sell this cloth flop hat and this poor quality toque. That's good. That's good to keep because that's got some uh, some utility to it. Which, honestly, I probably should equip that before I do anything. So, lady, where, where are you at, lady? Where is this, uh, trader's coat? We'll equip that, and that'll get us 15% better prices before we even get... Okay, and now let's go back through all this stuff I want to sell. Um, uh, eh, whatever. We'll just sell. We'll just sell the stuff we were gonna sell. Let's see. And that was. No, we're gonna keep that in case something happens. Sell these. No, uh, keep the cowboy hat that we made. Sell the flop hat. And that's toque. Just gotta sell this. Get it out of the way. So you and this tunic. So both of those. Uh, we have wood. We'll keep, we're gonna keep that. Uh, we're probably gonna buy their herbal medicine. Uh, probably don't need any of this stuff. They don't have any of it. We we would be one selling them the, the stuff. Not gonna use camel hide or panthera fur. 
uh, or lizard skin or light leather. Just not, just not stuff we really care to use. Uh, they sell some pemmican, which would be not the worst to buy, but we're already just going to be hunting animals anyway, so. Alright, cool. You're researching and you're hauling the stallion. After you eat, grab all the silver, I guess, and the medicine. And then go back to bed. <laughs> He's this dude just hauling an entire horse by himself <laughs> halfway across the map. Some sometimes you just gotta you just gotta haul a horse halfway across the map. Uh, have you cut the horse up? Well, there's more bones. We can build more shelves out of those. <laughs> Oh wow, that horse had a lot of meat on it. That bear like killed it, ate a chunk, and then just like left it there. Being a scavenger has its perks. God, just... this one still just has a bunch of stuff on it. That I don't want on it. I was trying to specifically put specific things in specific places, but the uh, I was either too slow to react or something, cause like yeah, like there's just a bunch of weird stuff all piled and on here that I didn't want there. Like all that steel should be out here. Anyway, we're done trading with them. You're still researching. That's pretty good. Uh, let's see. Temperature-wise, still cold. So we could probably just turn this into food immediately. That'd be 150, 160. So 16 more of these. Hmm. Kitchen sink cabinets. How f how close does I have to be? I'm suspecting it has to be in the same room. Let's turn this room stats thing off because it's kind of getting in the way. Okay, yeah, it's not linked in here because it's not the same room. So we would have to... I might move this little situation anyway soon. That way we can have more room in here for other stuff. Like, maybe I'll... Hmm, then I have to move all this stuff and... I kind of like having the meals close to the door so people can run here, grab it, and go. It's just convenient, so. Hmm. We could do something sneaky, like put it here <laughs> in the wall. Hornet. Yeah, let's, uh, we're gonna eventually move, we're gonna move this wall up some more as well. So it kind of is a little bit more flush there. We'll move you over there. Move 
this over, move that over. What are you doing, Lamer? You're, you're gonna eat the last meal? Mm-mm-mm. Oh, you're just kinda, you're just going at it immediately, huh? Um, I need to turn the sets back on so I can watch the cleanliness. that there because we're gonna move these walls over so we can fit that little kitchen sink in there at some point soon not right this second but because he's like he's cooking and doing that would make this paternal very unclean room <laughs> oh I just wanted to make sure I wasn't muted for like this like the last like hour cuz who, who knows I, I've done I've done more egregious things I think I've, I think one time I did a whole stream where it was muted because I forgot to unmute it at some point and then, yeah, it was uh, <laughs> it was wonderful. Sweet. Still clean in here. Honestly, we're gonna suspend that for now so we can do the construction stuff that I was thinking about doing. Um, it's gonna involve moving this and this. Uh, let's cancel you. Cancel you. We'll move you there first instead. Okay, back to this uh, kitchen sink cabinet. Come on, Lemur. You are you are desperately needed to build this. All right, and this thing increases the cooking work speed. But I'm pretty sure it might also increase room cleanliness. But we're gonna need to close this room off again to figure that out, cause I, it's been a minute. Oh yeah, that room is now sterile, which gives us even an even bigger buffer for uh, cooking stuff, so. And we don't have to actually be able to reach this sink for it to, to do that bonus thing, <laughs> so. Even better. And eventually I could probably put a little light in there to give light to this area to make it even faster, but yeah, we got a kitchen sink in like the back corner of the room behind the stove, but as far as the game case is concerned, that works just fine. Can we make pews? There's a school desk. Adults can teach lessons to children. Uh, that's cool, I guess. Um, oh, we can get a. That's a. That's a big ass table. Uh, that's not quite the table. Was, this is the one I was thinking of. We can make this table, and then we can have like a, a big ass rec room here. I'll put the party spot like. Uh, I guess it's fine there. This bed's gonna actually go to someone's room because it's it's good, but we can also make the better beds now too with complex furniture. There's so much to do. That's a poor stool. That's a poor stool. Let's just make a bunch more stools. Let's also get a little uh, torch lamp kind of in here too for the whole building process so lemur is about to be busy for a bit <laughs> huntsman looks like looks like um davy crockett <laughs> they're man they're doing their best what lemur what are you doing oh you stopped to play a game okay I can respect that. I do that all the time. Uh, 
Uh, it'll be it'll be fine to wait to do this. Trade caravan from the Gray Mule Branya is leaving. Goodbye. Ladies Idol. Um. We're gonna turn this to critical for. This is only for steel. So hopefully that'll give Lady. Maybe, yeah, she, hopefully she'll clear off all the steel from other places. Never mind, she's taking us. She's going to sleep. <laughs> and all the bars. N now he's taking up the torch of hauling all the steel. Cutting them blocks. The reason we're using granite is because it is the strongest wall. Like a, like vanilla wise, HP wise, these are well, they're not like the strongest strongest walls, but uh, for how easy it is to make, they are very good to use. Okay, Huntsman is researching. Not exactly what I was expecting him to do. How about we unsuspend his his simple meal cooking and have him do that instead? Contract colonist. What's this? Praetor Maria Nasca. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a. F <laughs> that's a fucking <laughs> goddamn Latin ass name. Maria. <laughs> She's asking you to lend one colonist thirteen years or older to serve her for eight days. Um, I don't really care about honor yet or goodwill. Cause we're neutral, so the uh, the empire won't bother us anyway. Uh, that would probably be what I'd take, but I don't know if I really I can't afford to lose the manpower, so we can't we can't really take that. Hello, Mega Sloth, you are a hungry little critter, aren't you? If I was uh, feeling a little brazen, I could attack this thing in the hide inside hide indoors, but that would be. Uh, have to, well, I have to plan that very carefully because this these things can just can maul your people to death pretty easily. They're very strong. Uh, cleanliness. Clean the dirt. All right, nice. Oh, well, we got some more meals. Uh, let's see. Excellent. Good. All these ones that are poor, I'm gonna delete because they're just gonna drag down the moot. They're not as good to use. Lemur. Okay, and you're you're just gonna go for a walk. That's don't. Why are you walking through the traps? You. They can walk on traps, and there's a there's a pretty small chance that they trigger them, but they can trigger them. So it bothers me when they just decide to go for a, a merry little stroll through the frickin' spike traps. <sighs> just gonna just going out for a little bit of a walk, you know, no big deal. Just gonna upgrade our life here. Now he's out of stuff to do again. Um Let's look at the wildlife. <laughs> look at our wildlife situation. Ooh, boomalobes. Huh? There's why there's so many mega sloths here. Um. If 
I did, if I do this, we're not gonna be able to leave the colony for a uh, hot minute. It would get us a lot of supplies, but we currently don't have any way to like retain that for a long period of time because it's almost spring. So maybe we should not do that because a lot all that meat going to waste would kind of suck. We are researching electricity, but we're nowhere near close to it yet. Uh, well, there's a, a stallion over here. How about you go pay a visit to the stallion since you're so bored? This fucker is getting closer to my base, though. After we kill, after we kill the stallion, we might have to deal with that, cause that big bastard can and will just attack our people. I didn't realize it was that close. Horse girls, look away! Avert your eyes! <laughs> Don't eat the heel root, that's mine. Oh, well, not really, but it could be. To consume stallion. What are you doing? Cleaning? But why? Did that thing leave? Did that is it leaving? It's just wandering around. I don't like that. I don't like that it's wandering like that. Um. Yeah, we're gonna get you inside here, and you're gonna get inside here too, and um. We're probably going to try to kill this thing. We might be able to get over here and ha and do do it that way. Before we do that, we're going to make some more uh, doors as an insurance policy so that if it does come out to us, we'll have to break through multiple of these doors that are pretty cheap for us to deal with. A builder named Arg Argyros. Is, well, they're probably not someone we can recruit. They're not really. Well, I mean, look. Jealous, quick sleeper, abrasive, and straight. Hmm. Side eyes heavily. <laughs> um. The only reason I would want to save them, <laughs> side eyes them heavily. Uh, the, the only reason I would want to save them is because then we could, uh, for now we'll move. We'll save them, but not because I'm wanting to recruit them, but so that we can send, we can heal them up and send them back to their people to get a, a faction boost. So we'll turn this to medical. S somebody already out. Who's closest? Mm. Okay, this thing's asleep. Wish you could see, but see it's like energy. Currently can't. I don't know how long it's gonna sleep for. But now it's probably as good of a time as any. Uh, Let's rescue this guy while this creature is asleep. And, well, I mean, you can just start cooking all these things. One fish. That's a lot of fucking meat from that one stallion. Um, damn. 
we can probably start doing the uh, times four meals. Instead, because it's a lot safer. See, I'm not. I don't. I don't try to be the the the, the most horrible person in the world playing this game, because that just feels bad some sometimes. But uh, let's see, 150. By doing quick maths, that's 150. That's 220. So we can do five of these, and then we'll just kind of do the, the leftovers. And that's what Huntsman will do until it's time to try to fight this crocodile thing, because... Yeah. All right, Lemur, get to work. We, we got, we, we got, we got, we got, well, hopefully they actually survive getting carried back. Like, Lady's very good at what she does, but if he bleeds out on the way there, that's not going to do us much good, you know? Uh, bleeding out fire, okay, we probably got enough time. Oh yeah, definitely. She's really good at her job. Yeah, he's he's fine. Or sh she. My apologies. I I was very that was very assumptuous of me. <laughs> um, but yeah. Should be perfectly. Oh, this thing's fucking awake now. Uh, for now, we're gonna make sure nobody leaves until I figure out what we're gonna do. But we could technically just stay inside now for just. As long as necessary, because we've got food in here. We've got stuff in here that we can use, do stuff with, and yeah. Maybe this thing will just wander off. I'm feeling it might end up eating this thing. If it gets hungry enough, which it's probably going to be hungry enough very soon. Um. doing resting oh it's sleep time another good reason to get these bedrooms and all that stuff done is so that um the, the interrupted sleep thing stops happening because that's a pain in the ass oh the ancient artifact huh okay what is this you've learned that a relic of post holism is nearby the Theo Rifle <laughs> is an ancient object venerated by all holiests. If you could collect it, you could build a great reliquary to make holiests happy, attracting we attract wealthy pilgrims, and bring more people to post-holism. First, you need to find a Theo Rifle. Cust except for customized glitter tech, mid tech, scoped steam tech, hunting. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> That's a lot of adjectives. <laughs> Customized glitter tech, mid tech, scoped steam tech, hunting bolt action rifle. God damn, that's a mouthful. Um, this quest doesn't expire, so we can kind of do it whenever we want, which is nice. Yeah, I'm co I'm kind of hope. Well, feel bad for oligarch. He's kind of just like hanging out here. Turtles. Oh, I forgot this turtle had the flu. It's fine. It'll survive. Okay, well, these don't need any more tending, which is good. Let's see... 
Can we make pews? I wasn't sure if we could or not. Meditation thrones, there's a drape. Uh, dressers would be good to get, but... No, maybe, maybe it's an ideology. Lecterns. A slanted platform that holds a text in, in front of the speaker. Place it near to the focus of rituals and speeches to extend the duration of their positive effects. Huh, Alright. Uh, yeah, I put that in the wrong place. I'll do something like this, I guess. I not only have much experience with the this like religion stuff, <laughs> but I will give it. Uh, it's a little longer now, I'd have appreciated. But frankly, for four colonists, that currently works out. <laughs> we might end up moving this somewhere else. <laughs> But for now, we'll just kind of put that there. Which means this is kind of in the wrong spot again. I don't know if it needs to be the way I'm trying to do this, but it makes the most sense in my potato brain. Or bean brain, rather. So when, when Lemur wakes up, she's got some stuff she can do. And they're just running around losing their goddamn minds. What are you doing? I mean, that works. That makes you a little injured. Maybe you, you want to step on another one? Oh, it's, it's hunting a wild boar. Well... Shouldn't have gotten near the heel root. <laughs> I have an idea too. Only for this situation, because you almost never you never want to block off this path right here because the way they're pathfinding works is if like you have enemies coming after you and you're trying to use these traps if they can't get to the character they're targeting they'll start like breaking walls and shit so having a door like this is almost never what you want to have happen but i have a plan to like shoot this thing get it mad and then hide in here or like stand right there and have it come towards us and then like run away Wait, it runs over the traps again? That might just do the work for us, because, yeah. Huntsman is good at shooting, but, you know. If we can just, uh, not have to deal with that, then that works too. Okay, he's back. He's back to cooking. Huntsman and Lemur chatted about taming ravens. All right. Um, Equipped about birthdays. I was like, well, I can't read that. Another transport pod, huh? Just fly over Splash, Splash Mountain. What, what about you? What's your deal? We're from Eastern Veristan. Probably not a bad one to also rescue if we can, but 
incapable of caring. <laughs> the game means that they can't do stuff like social or medical, but it just sounds really funny like they just don't care. <laughs> uh, psychically hypersensitive, bisexual. Um, what, is your, what gear do you have? A bib apron? Smelting speed, smoothing speed, general labor speed, hmm. Well, um, let's see. I'm not as worried about this murderous alligator thing right now, because it, it ate a boar whole. Um, well, we do have this extra bed in here. I guess we could uh, do something with that. Uh, let's see. What are you doing, Huntsman? What? Why are you walking on the traps, you dipshit? <laughs> He's really adamant about cleaning blood, I guess. Um, no. No cleaning. No cleaning. Only one that cleans is Lady, because whatever. She, some, she usually doesn't have anything to do. Uh, where is this guy? Let's uh, rescue you. Academy of Arco Technology. <laughs> huh. Oh. I'm so I was trying to turn my lamp on on my desk, and, but I it got moved at some point recently, and so I, I was reaching for where it has historically been, and I was like, "Where's my lamp?" <laughs> my singular brain cell was firing in all cylinders. Well, I've got this dingy ass room in here. A reliquary, huh? Ceremonial building that protects and displays a relic. Relics are ancient objects venerated by some cultures, belief systems, or religions. A drum. Okay. Skull spike. <laughs> a spike mounted upright for the purpose of display, a piercing and displaying a human skull. To some, displaying skulls are a symbol of power. To others, they represent barbaric evil. A gibbet cage. Oh, so that's what these things are called. It's like the cages and like medieval dungeons that hold the corpses. I was one. I I never knew those had a specific name. Huh. The more you know, I guess. Okay. Uh, we're gonna do this and this and all my people that haul stuff can uh, do that oh spring has begun oh is the growing season here now it says it is but it says that it starts on the 6th of April May so I think I'm just gonna wait until then to plant things cuz yeah um, plants up too early it's still too cold uh, it'll just die <laughs> so we're gonna just wait yeah See, it says cannot grow. Spring's here, but it's too damn cold. What are you doing? Uh, let's see. Convert E. Uh, ladies' expectations very low, plus five percent. Olibar's social impact. Room impressiveness. Um, well, with more participants, this would be better. But we might try to start doing this because otherwise, lady just. Ooh, curry. What kind of curry you got? Yeah, we're gonna try doing this. Uh, actually, no, we'll, we'll work on getting the room a little nicer, because right now it's not very impressive. Like, it's awful, actually. 
So let's go ahead and... How much marble do I have? I should have some around here somewhere to... to uh, that's not enough. Um, ah, that's fine. Hey, whatever you like. Yeah, I'm not super, I'm not as big into spicy foods, but I've definitely grown a lot more able to handle spicy stuff than I used to by a, a lot. Oh, you're, you're rescuing this guy. Rescuing? That's definitely a word I said with my mouth. <laughs> rescuing. Mmm. More vocabulary. All right. Wait, are you even hurt? Not really. Well, let's not do medicine with you and have Lady tend you real quick. Because she's good enough, like, by her just own skill that she could probably... Yeah, she's doing fine. I gotta watch my food supply though, because having these folks here healing um, takes away food that I need for my people, so it's. Uh... Although we're getting close to being springtime where it'll be less of a problem, because we can just go grab like berries or grow rice or something, but. Where's that out? There's that alligator. I want this thing to uh, not be around. How, what's its what let's check out its stats 3.65 how fast can huntsman move for uh we might actually be able to just might now might be about the best time we have to try to deal with this thing because yeah it's currently wounded by it stepped on one of our traps so we need to uh, try to take this thing out now If we if we hit it, it's coming after us. We missed. 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 Well, that's a pretty far shot. Frankly, we're probably gonna just uh. Real real quick while we deal. With this situation, we're gonna kind of keep keep people away from getting in trouble. Because we've hit it, so it's 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 not happy. It's it's gonna come after us. And I'm hoping I can come here and have it come through all the traps. Well, we can't. We shoot it again. Oh, oh god. Get inside. No, go. No. Shit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that timing's about as good as I could have really done. Well, it's bleeding out in three hours. It's got like a million injuries. <laughs> we stabbed it in the brain. <laughs> Whew. Yeah, that thing took out all of our traps here. Every single one. That's fine. It'll just kind of wander off and die now. Nope. Never mind. Didn't even have to wander off very far. It just kind of bled out in like r high speed. Well, that was fun. Let's uh. Let's send everyone back to their what they were doing. And now we'll finish him off. Lemur's like, oh, I've got to build stuff now. Ooh. Let's try to find some more trees to cut down. Should be plenty of them up here. Because our wood's not doing super great. Trees kind of regrow naturally over time if the biome is right for it. Like, this is a temperate forest, so that 
should be fine, but like. We'll do that too. <laughs> it's really weird sounding. But you haul that first, and then have a snack. I just realized I just realized I have like 18 meals. I probably don't have to worry quite as much about that. All right, let's do some some weirdness with um. We're gonna re we're gonna move this setup I have here. Okay, lady's not actually. What? Did, what is this? Yo! <laughs> this rat's like, I'm gonna go eat this this corpse in Splash Mountain. Fine by me. Okay, so we're gonna move. But there, cause we want to. One of these doors will go here, cause this is to uh, let us. Um, this, this, the purpose of these doors is to let us service these uh, spike traps without walking all over them. That's at least the intended uh, purpose. Okay, and then we'll move that one there. Okay, and then reinstall you, and then we'll build another door over here. Actually, we're not gonna rebuild, but we're gonna move this door <laughs> over here. I only wanted that door there for exactly what we did, which was um, have that thing go through the entire trap corridor. Can you play Hoopstone another? What are you doing? You know what? Whatever. <laughs> At least Lady's got something to do now. You're just. Oh, you're cloud watching. Yay! Alright, we can speed up now. I was wondering if we had these, this file cabinet thing. It's kind of what I was saving this little spot up here for is that specifically. Oh, lemur's asleep, okay. Okay, we killed that. That's this little dude right here. We could probably, uh, uh, what's your temperature range? Uh, what's your move speed? What's your health looking like? Mm. Cause if this person gets killed when they're in our care, it would not uh, look good on us. So we'll just wait till they're fully healed.
<clears throat> good old Olabar. Okay, you're not incapable of walking anymore. That's good. Well, it's looking a little less nasty in here, at least, because of all these shelves. We might end up making some more shelves, too. Huntsman has reached the oh, well. He's not the main researcher, but hey, if he can do it while we're doing other stuff, then sure, that's fine by me. I think this gives like, yeah, it's like 5% more research speed, which is pretty good. That should help. Select, select similar and we'll link their settings and storage um, I don't want I only really want this for like wood and bones those are the two things we tend to have a lot of we can make a stockpile thing like this outside for uh, bricks because they don't they don't degrade anyway Ooh, lemur, lemur reached level 7 intellectual. Nice. That's a, that'd be a nice speed boost to our research. Need warm clothes. Yeah, you're fine. <laughs> He's still sleeping with the turtle. <laughs> well, now that that situation's dealt with, um, we could probably work on getting this room made for lemur and huntsman. I think I was gonna move the turtle friends. <laughs> Only one turtle friend so far. It's still winter, so I'm, su I'm surprised this turtle lasted this long, cause it, it's been it's it was it's been winter for a bit. Yeah, that you're right. <laughs> he, he's been, he's, there, there's been a few winners in his in their time and his time. Yes. Research, of course, of course, of course, of course. Man, our base is starting to take better shape. And we can drag one of these doors over here to kind of separate this into the hallway so that all these rooms have their own bonuses a little bit more self-contained. 
Alright, why are you... I need to have you not do that anymore. I mean, your animal skill is actually pretty good, so... That will be useful for when we want to tame some creatures to, uh... Like, do livestock and all that. Playing the game of Ur. Okay, cool. Okay, this corpse is still fresh. Good. Just... just Making absolute sure that this corpse doesn't like go to waste because that's probably a lot of meat. Let's actually look uh, Meat about 323 meat god damn That's that's a lot of food That is a lot of food. What do you While you're at it here have a shotgun lemur with the shotgun <laughs> Hmm. Oh, that's why she's wandering around. It's because her Reese shotgun lemur. <laughs> it's like cocaine bear. <laughs> Is there anything else I need lemur to build? Uh, just the stuff for their bed the bedroom it looks like although we could start building uh, these better beds if we got enough wood that is I don't know how much wood we have uh, we, I think we got enough wood <laughs> I like we can make these uh these beds here which are the normal beds that you can build whenever you're not tribal folks starting out Should we make bone beds? I mean, it, we got bones. Um, I think it's the same stats as wood. Looks like it at least. We could have we could just have all have creepy bone furniture. <laughs> bone bed. Well, I guess at this point we can go ahead and. Mm, We can go ahead and give them a double bed. Uh, and we'll start putting in the floor too. <clears throat> I might make the, flo the, the hallway just out of wood just cause, cause yeah, it's just, it'll be quicker. Not as important. <laughs> the bones. <laughs> it could be. I wish I could rename it. I don't know if I can. If I could... <laughs> Welcome to the bone zone. We've got turtles. We've got dead crocodiles. We've got bones. Relations with Mapugmoil Pact have changed from minus 80 to minus 92. Bones for days! Bones for days! I think that was one of the factions we were already enemies with anyway, so meh, whatever. Not gonna complain. Doesn't really matter. Oh, uh, it's just over to move towards new natural goodwill. Yeah, it means they're just that pre. We're just de destined to be enemies. That's fine. It's not like my not like there's a, ta a tangible difference between minus eighty and minus ninety two anyway. Okay, we ah. Uh. How did you get food poisoning from a dirty cooking area? The area has been sterile the entire time. Oh, well, whatever. At least Olabar is not like the most important person right now. There's he just makes granted stone blocks are very important to have. So I mean I shouldn't dispar I shouldn't discredit him. 
a bully from the <laughs> a bully. Um, uh, you're just a 17 year old bully, I guess. Pretty and asexual. Hey. All right. Blood. What? Is that your religion? Oh. Animal personhood. Cannibal. Oh. Oh. Required cannibalism. Hmm. Some like variation of like hin of Hinduism. <laughs> Boomy or Bhumi, I don't know how to say that. Went to his brother and murdered him and feasted upon his flesh. There's so are they just a ray of sunshine? <laughs> And absorbing its power became first among the gods. The people fought with the beasts in the forest, and Bumi saw their struggle and gave them weapons to control nature. Bumi brought the animals and humans of the arid world Chellis together in a great con conference. Just gonna have a conference with the animals and these people. Um. What? Well, all right. Um. I hope you don't get eaten by the bear. That'd be kind of funny, and a little ironic. Um. Do you really need to do that right now? Your your rec your recreation is full. Uh, the weather control is no longer forcing fog to be the only thing. Uh, let's uh fill, get this bed done first. An excellent bone bed with art carved into it. This furniture is engraved with a portrayal of Olabar Chebo waiting in a chair, gently massaging his wrists. <laughs> Eight cowboys are slumped in defeat. All right. <laughs> the work is the work is executed in a heartfelt style. Strikingly, the scene takes place inside a campsite built near a cove. This representation refers to Olivar relaxing at a game of Urborg on 6 of December, 5500. <laughs> uh, eight cowboys slumped in defeat. Fascinating. Anyway, the, the, this bed is for um for Limar and Huntsman, ideal. Well, let me guess. No, no non-married people. Fucking loser. <laughs> Lady, you're a loser. Lemur said, "Sleepy time." She took her hat off to go to sleep. Uh, Huntsman, what are you doing? It's sleepy time for you too. They just take their hats off to go to sleep. Good for them. Yeah, the the risk with doing the uh, cooking in batches like that is if 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 there's some weird thing like cook, dirty cooking area kind of thing that happens, all four of the meals that are made with that will have that chance that uh, chance to make someone sick. Thankfully, it's not really something that's going to really bother all of Olabar here. I need to have you drop these instead of carry them. Why are you not dropping these? What? It's... The bill literally says to drop them, and you're, like, taking them to the shelf. What? I don't understand. Oh, well, I mean, maybe maybe he is affected by it. He's making them a little slow. <laughs> oh, your right hand's almost patched up. You're almost basically done. Like the, all the all like the freaking like heel rolls were rolling on everything else other than the torso, but that will heal pretty soon. Or it should, at least. Hmm. For now, we might uh, just uh, put some of these tiles in. Like these. 
just to make this room nicer. So if we try to do any like ceremonies or whatever, it should be fine. The fuck are you up? <laughs> I was like, what is this thing? It's a guinea pig. It doesn't exactly look like one, but you know, it's 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 definitely a guinea pig. What is? That's another guinea pig. I was like, what is that? What is this shit? <laughs> Give me a sec. Check Discord messages. Okay. Just making sure I wasn't missing nothing important, because that would be not ideal, as you may suspect. Alright. Alright, Elbar. The rescue of Toast. What does that mean? Red. High Chief of the Grey Mule Branya says that his friend has been wounded while traveling. The victim is Toast, a 23-year-old framer. A framer, huh? Red has nobody to spare to rescue Toast, but says that if you can make it to Toast's position and rescue her, she will join you. Red says that there may be an unknown threat. Um, uh, let's take a look. Oh, you're... It's a little far. But just, I'm like, I'm, we're right here. Toast! <laughs> and you're also in a swamp. I don't think we're gonna be able to do that. We're still just kinda... We're still just kinda getting our bearings. Talked quietly about femininity. Every time he throws up while he has food poisoning, he has to start eating again. <laughs> so there could be times where like you're trying to just eat, your character's trying to eat food because food poisoning or whatever, and they just just proje project a vomit multiple times in a row and just start getting malnutrition. <laughs> it's silly, but all right, we can get rid of these beds because. Well, this is a much... I I would hope not, but with how impressive the AI decides to do things sometimes. Well, let me build another... I won't let me build one in the same spot. Damn it. You used to be able to have it where people would share spots like that, but I think they changed that because it's probably a little silly. So in that case, for now, we're going to have to make some adjustments to the rooms. This will be like the most cramped little cult church ever. Oh, torch lamp is there course. Figure we do this, they can both research at night. And that will get us our research done much quicker. Normally this is not something you really need to do because people, you usually are encouraged to have a very good researcher with your initial group of colonists, but I did not do that for whatever reason. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. Just have them do that for a while, and... Uh, let's try this again, just to kind of... Let's see. Leader present started at altar... So an altar might be a better place to uh, do things at. Let's see. Uh, grand altar. 
grand platform up. Well, that's a little bigger than uh, I would prefer, but hmm. We'll have to. Eventually, when we make this room back to this size, we can have like a little path going over here to something like this, maybe. Eh, whatever. Um, start at any time. Uh, could we get a divine chief somewhere? Um, maybe we could have that be huntsman. <laughs> Seems fitting. I think Ulibar is the uh, other dude. Yeah, our, pro our problem is not having a divine chief, I think, lessens our success chance of, like, just about everything. Except maybe this. Well, that is better than what it was. Let's do it. Let's try it at least. Oh, just lay her down in the little circle. <laughs> Discuss the moral structure of the universe. Oh, the turtle's coming too! <laughs> That's amazing. The turtle's like, oh no, turtle's just going in, going in the hospital. Actually. We'll, let the, we'll have the turtle sleep in the hospital, actually. Because that's going to be the hospital until we need to make it a bigger one. While the turtle isn't currently attending the, the ceremony, it was really funny that it looked like it was going to. It's like, oh, I gotta, I can't miss this shit. <laughs> oh, hey, you're you're fully healed. You're gonna just leave on your own. Mas, ooh, masterful. The conversion ritual was masterful. Old beliefs seemed to dissolve effortlessly and inevitably, and our true knowledge was accepted. Holy shit! Alright, well, she got completely converted in one failed swoop. That, um, was not what I expected. I think if it wasn't masterful, it wouldn't have done that, but she is now part of post-holism, too. Which means she can become, uh... Oh yeah, it takes like, it takes like 20 freaking uh, days to recharge the conversion thing. Uh, let's see, roll change. Perhaps uh, Lady should be the, not the Abbot, uh, the Divine Chief, because she has the best, uh, uh, before we do that, let's look at all the stuff again. I didn't actually custom make this uh, ideology. I kind of was like, choose one that's like kind of like the old school Rimworld kind of belief system of how they reacted to stuff. Uh, let's see. Divine Chief, who holds the group together and represents your faction in diplomatic interactions. Leader speech, work drive, com combat command, tri trial. Oh. Okay, well. Expectations raised by two levels. Nah, eh, well. But, uh, lady's almost always in a good mood anyway, so. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, lady is gonna be our divine chief. You're about to assign the role of divine chief to lady. Lady will gain the follow up abilities. It can sometimes be better to wait until your colony is more established before you assign rules. Uh, yeah, whatever. Maybe we won't do that just yet. 
Uh, what about this free fare? I mean, the expected quality is good. We got participants. Uh, I feel like it's probably going to be fine. Free fair. The speech is over and the party is beginning. Fun! Yay, fun! Everyone gains five plus five mood for six days. Ooh, sweet. Where? No, do not feed them the, the whole, the, what are you, no. <laughs> Here, have this alligator. <laughs> what the fuck? No, bad, put it back. Prisoner does not get fucking animal corpses. What the shit is wrong with you? I mean, I guess you can feed him raw meat. That was kind of like an odd bit of meat anyway. Here, have some raw meat. Uh, mmm. <laughs> Jesus Christ. See, you can't leave these fuckers alone for a, for a second. They'll do something ridiculous. Like try to feed a whole crocodile to our freaking uh, healing uh, visitor here. Wait, did we get the, uh, the boost? with uh the fat um we didn't do any what's what's this huh maybe we're we were negative with them and we're not now i, I don't know but there, or maybe that's not how you gain will goodwill and maybe i should have just wasted a bunch of resources trying to keep them alive i don't know Oh no, it did go up. They just took a really long time to actually leave the map. <laughs> okay, I thought I got cheated out of uh, the reputation boost by the game being weird or something, but no, nope, it's fine. And uh, what? No, uh, you, you'll you won't won't be too much longer. So yeah, this little chapel thing has so far been very successful. I didn't expect it to be that good, but it did fine. Oh, they're 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 doing something. I'm gonna not watch while they do that. <laughs> they were uh yeah yeah. <laughs> on on that note though, um, in this in this one in this update with the uh, new expansion of biotech, they added children. Like they added baby making. To the bait to, to quote unquote vanilla. I think there's been mods in the past that shit, that's a lot of fucking meat. Uh, I think there's been mods in the past that um have added stuff like that, but now it's like officially in the in the game. Well, we've got um 315 meat. We're gonna. Make a lot of these simple meals. 31 to be exact. They'll last longer as simple meals anyway. Even if they all go bad, at least we'll get more usage out of them. Dude wasted no time. He's like, mm, I'm going to eat that shit right now. Compliments to the chef. Me, I'm the chef. 
Re what dirty cooking area? They're, it's clean. Hmm. Well, whatever. I guess she just gets to deal with food poisoning now. I guess that means I probably need to start flooring this up. It's literally sterile in this kitchen. I have a feeling it's because this is considered dirty, too. Hmm. Well. Oh, well. We might get onesies and twosies here, people getting food poisoning. What's well, a little food poisoning among friends? <laughs> that being said, food poisoning is, fucking sucks. I've had it, bef I got it before. <laughs> It felt like I was dying. Shit was not great. Do not recommend getting food poisoning. Like, you got the chills. Just hard to keep anything down. It's pretty similar to how it is in this where you're just wanting to throw up everywhere. I think Lady just got really unlucky because, like, um, Lemur has, um, Lemur and, uh, Olabar are also ate from the fresh food being made, and they didn't get sick, so, yeah, I think Lady just got really unlucky. Oh, I, I, <laughs> I can see the, I, <laughs> did, did lady come in here, throw up next to the pew and then leave? <laughs> I think she did. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, this game. Now they can both research until it's bedtime. We'll just make things a little faster for us getting electricity. Now Lady's running around cleaning up all the messes. They're they're going on a date. Good for you. Oh, uh, how unfortunate. Now it's bedtime. Well, something that can be done when um, they wake up is let's try to get some more uh, flooring in into ladies' room. Really don't know why he's like not dropping these marble blocks. Like it, it literally says drop on floor, and he's just not, you know, doing that. I don't understand why he's just not doing what he's supposed to do. Uh oh. Man under pack. A pack of man-hunting monkeys has entered the area. <laughs> How many? Two? Driven insane, driven insane by the disease known as Scaria, they will roam the region, hunting for humanoid flesh. Woo. Okay, I think that means it's time to stay indoors. Is everyone inside? Where's... Where's Olabar? Olabar... Can you, maybe now is not the time to cloud watch, buddy. The monkeys are coming. <laughs> the monkeys are on their way. <laughs> this is fucking ridiculous. Uh. Well, I guess play some hoop stone or something, because. <laughs> I 
<laughs> oh, there's three of them. I think she's recovering now. Yeah. Okay, and we are sealed off from the outside world. Lemur has reached 14 construction. Nice. Lemur, please do the thing you are literally doing. Just don't stop to eat. I'm going to manually force her to do these things. Well, I will say our colony is looking a lot better than it did earlier in the stream. And definitely a lot better than it did when we started out because we were just like kind of in the middle of the field. Made a little shitty wood house. And that eventually caught fire and burnt all of the rice we had planted. <laughs> Oh, uh, what a mess. Let's set up... Let's kind of work on setting up a bit of a... Oh, that's amazing. It actually counts how many squares are in the thing. That's awesome. Okay, so we're gonna set up a growing zone here. Uh, let's turn the fertility thing on. Set that up there. Okay, this one is gonna be, we're not allowing sewing yet, because the growing season's probably not here quite yet. This one's gonna be for rice, and this is gonna be for cotton. <clears throat> and then we're gonna have another growing zone that we'll uh, set up for uh, something else. With this, this, this uh, normally like kind of not ideal land. I mean, it's it's fine. Like just like there's normal growing stuff, but this area, this uh, this area that's bright green is uh, fertile soil. Oh, of course there's some fertile soil right underneath my storeroom. Yeah, like this, like that'd be a really good place to set up a base too. Yeah, this fertile soil has a 40% uh, faster growth speed, so I tend to uh, try to sit up near one of those, if at all possible, because it's just faster stuff. But yeah, this um, area is going to be for... Um... I'll have this for... I want to say uh, hay grass. Fiber corn. The thing that grows wood. That's yeah, it's a little weird. Um, uh, well, we could grow weed. Or basically cocaine. Um where hay grass. That way if we do get some animals, we can grow a bunch of this and then make a like either like kibble, like you know, dog food, or we could just have it hay grass for like herbivores to just eat on. So we're just gonna have like a big area of this, and we'll probably end up fencing it in at some point. It's a I'm gonna shrink this. Expand it here. 
and shrink this. That way we can start, we can build like a wall around all this and fence it all and wall it in so that if we do get raided, we'll still be able to access all of our food growing stuff. I think that's just a good idea. Okay, no sewing. Uh, let's separate a little bit more of this out of this fast growing area for some heel root. You don't gotta do stuff like this, but I'm just trying to kind of diversify what I grow. Have some rice here. Rice grows pretty fast, so I'm not super worried about um, size for. Oh, it also shows the size there now too. Lovely, lovely quality of life stuff. Yeah, I'm not. We're gonna grow 40 cotton, which will give us enough to kind of just do stuff with, like if we need to make more clothes. And after that, we'll, after that's done growing, we'll grow more rice in its place or something. Uh, it is almost five. Let me take a sec and I'll see if... Check up on my roommate and see what we plan to do. Cause I think we kind of plan it around four or five or so to when we do our dinner stuff. Cause, yeah. So let's see. In the meantime, we'll uh, continue planning this stuff. So we've got well, that man main underpack still technically here, but so we've got rice there. Heel root there. No, don't allow sewing. And hay grass. All right, cool. I feel like that's a pretty good uh, start for when it's finally time to plant stuff and when we're not being assaulted by the monkey army. The, leave the bean army alone. I kind of want her to like not sleep yet because lemur is doing all this construction to make um, things a little better so you'll just stand here lady with your with your freaking axe in your hands Well, now you're hungry, so go eat some food. A, m a mad turkey? Why Why you mad? Look out, it's a mad turkey. You won't make me into a sandwich, motherfucker. <laughs> gobble, 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 gobble. <laughs> Yeah, we're just gonna stay inside for both of these um, events. Kind words. I've been bestowed with kind words. What a nice person. Who said kind words? Huntsman expressed appreciation for lady's face. <laughs> well, that that's <laughs> that's pretty nice. You have a nice face. Oh golly. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh no, that's not gonna go very well. No, don't leave yet. You're gonna, you're gonna regret that. The monkeys are, no! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> God damn it. 
You fight good. This dude just... <laughs> Fuck it. Fuck's sakes. He just got the shit clawed out of him by monkeys. Ugh, God damn it. <laughs> as soon as I saw them get out of the bed, I was like, oh. Oh, no. Well, we've got some options here. Um... Olabar, well, no, you're not fucking doing that. If we, we we could probably draw them away, like if we go open this door, we might be able to draw the monkeys away from this th that side of the base. It's kind of what I was hoping for. We drawed one of one of them away, it looks like. Kind of. Um In shock due to pain, yeah. Yeah, uh eight hours. No, we got one of them interested. I was hoping to get more than one. See, that makes it a little hard to uh, get out there and rescue them successfully. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to very careful. You are not going for a walk. Motherfucker, you're not going for a goddamn walk. Well, that monkey's gonna die are they both leaving now or are they both going over there or they just... I have another idea too that we could do that will involve two people peek out with one person get the monkeys to go to that door and then like as while they're hammering away at the door um, yeah. The old switcheroo work. Where's the other monkey at? I only see one up there we might be able to pull might, might be able to get ah! run okay the monkey's pissed off <laughs> but we we did it we saved this dipshit uh because i have a feeling if they die if they die that'd be a very uh, bad uh, situation What even happened to you? Uh, a lot. <laughs> this reads like a fuck. This reads like a fucking weird like poem. Turkey feet, monkey fist, monkey fist, turkey feet, monkey fist, monkey fist, monkey teeth, monkey fist times two. Turkey feet, turkey feet. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, uh, give me a sec. Okay. I have gotten the notification that me and my roommate are going to be t doing uh, din uh, dinner stuff now. So uh, let me <laughs> pull this back up. Are we in a, st a mostly stable place? Well, lady's about to wake up. Good timing, I guess, because this guy needs tending again. When did the turkey get involved? Did it... Yeah, dude's just... He... Oh, fuck. He decided that was the time he needed to leave. 
And there wasn't really much I could have done to stop him without causing problems, but uh, we'll, the, the current course, things are set, let's uh, save and quit, and I'll end this stream, and I'll probably be starting back up at like around 6 or so, give or take, and we'll be doing some modded Minecraft <laughs> with Spotify music, because whatever, I just like listening to music, I, I understand the VOD's gonna get muted, that's fine. That's okay, though. Uh, let's see. That thing. So, yeah. Thank you, everybody, for coming by. Appreciate your company. Uh, let's see. Let's see if Haleen is streaming yet. Let me refresh. Twitch page here. Uh, whoever you are. I don't see... Let me double check to make sure. Uh... Or maybe Helene is, and it just it's, this is just not showing up. Or I don't know. Um, I know they were gonna stream today. I just don't know when. Um, hmm. That's unfortunate. Well, I mean, kind of have to end and pick someone now. So, oh. I know someone we can pick. Uh, we're going to be raiding into Mochi, one of my other really good streamer friends. She's playing Dragon Dragon's Dogma, Dark Arisen. And really really cool, really cool cat, literally. You'll see. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to end my stream, and we're going to be raiding into Mochi, good friend of mine. See you there, and I'll be back at, like, around 6 or so for my own uh, continuation stream stuff. Adios.